That is pretty cool. It actually kind of looks like a face, but it also is a fish. Like from far away, it kind of looks like a head. Like a fish person, but it, then it, it also is like a fish at the same time. Uh, which is scarier? The end of a no-hit run in your experience, Soul of Cinder, or these two bosses? Uh, this run's a lot scarier, man. This run has to be so specific that, like, you don't have to really do much different. Like, you can have the same timing and execution, but your placement of how you attack or, like, where you're standing by, like, literal footsteps could ruin an entire run. Like, I got hit on the other run because I got scuffed on a dude's kneecap for half a second. Like, that, you basically have to be so accurate, whereas in DS3 there's wiggle room for tiny air like that. You don't have to be identical with stuff all the time or within, like, this very tight uh, margin of error. You know, it's like you, you have to really... You have to really be particular on this run and that makes it worse because it feels a lot harder when you fail like it feels you feel it more um, but i think that actually is good though because then you really realize like i need to be perfect right whereas in ds3 you could probably get lazy from a mistake and you don't you don't put as much effort going back into it maybe but like that you really feel the mistakes in this a lot more um i think there's been more than just me that said that like even people the speed run will say like you can feel like the failure a lot more it will it will kick your ass a lot more in that kind of way all right the winner of the character raffle is intran intran i i hope that you make it past bsb man i hope your bsb training has gone well and we can do good uh no i kind of want to make a new character but i kind of don't oh we're gonna go with pepe i guess we'll do pepe uh, stay plus, yeah, man. If you want to talk, maybe tonight we could do that. Tonight or another day. Me and me and uh, Cheese already talked a little bit, but we have an idea. We have a, like a rough plan. So if you want to just get in on that conversation, then we can figure it out. But yeah, dude. Uh, welcome back. You're just gonna say punish BSB for you. I'll try my best, but you got it. You got to grant me the powers, man. You have all that knowledge stored in there from that recent success. Uh, when I complete this run, will this be my greatest achievement? Uh, it'll be my most, like, f it'll be my most favorite run, definitely, but I don't know if, it, that depends, that's subjective to the person that's seeing it. Some people might not even think this matters, like, you know, there's people that do speed runs that might not even care about this run. There's people that don't do challenges that might be like, whoa, like, this is really hard, and then there's people that also do this run that would understand that this is more fun to play. Like, Faraz even can admit this run is more fun than DS3. But, um, it's a different type of challenge, so I don't know how you can, like, really compare them that much. Like, I feel that this is a lot worse, like I said, with if you make a mistake. Like, it can be so subtle compared to DS3. DS3 more so is, like, your reaction time is bad, but, like, this doesn't even just play into that. It tests other things, too. Um... There's not much, like, particular setup or execution that has to be specific for a lot of stuff in DS3. It's more like you have all the room in the world to do whatever you want all the time. There's no time pressure or anything like that. You just have to be uh, very, very, very good. I mean, there's some things, like Half-Light, obviously, there's a very particular execution to it. Uh, Half-Light's more of, like, a Bloodborne fight. Uh, there is a type of fight like maybe like demon princes where you can get a quick kill on them if you have everything in place if you've done it right but if you don't it's not it, it's not like the the run ends like there's nothing that you can instantly get fucked by like it's not a moon presence where you ruin one part of the setup and any of those mistakes you can make ruining the setup will in inevitably end the run it doesn't matter if you are good at the entire fight the third way through you're screwed if you don't kill him immediately at 30 percent so, stuff like that, right? Uh, like Amelia, you only get one try. You can't go back to her on a second attempt. Even if you could Hunter's Mark out, you can't do this, the, the kill the same way. So, very particular. It's very specific. I will feel better about it than the DS3 run. But I, I think, I think by a little bit, I think I'll like it more. But that's up to you guys. If you think it's easier than DS3, maybe that's just from what you've seen. And that's perfectly okay. Uh, I like challenges better than speedruns, especially if the speedruns use glitches. Yeah, I think there's there's a misconception though. Like <clears throat> some of the, some of the best speedruns uh, that have glitches and stuff like that are actually harder to do than playing the game normally. And people would think that 
it's cheating because it saves so much time, but it's not like intended. But a lot of the setups for uh, runs, like even other games, not even just Souls, but like especially the older school stuff, like it's so difficult to pull off. It takes years of practice to actually be that fast. It's not even, it's not even like something as easy as, uh, as um, you know, any kind of challenge run. It's way different than. It's like a it's like a legit job like just learning that stuff like ooh like um <clears throat> the run that Hobbs trying to learn like that's a legit like you should have a certification to run that game efficiently and within world record pace like that's like a fucking talent that's not just being good that's like there's so much information in there it's like a five hour run so many uh, near frame perfect tricks you have to do that um you know and then also dealing with the failure too. Uh, hacks, thanks for the good luck, by the way. Sudamir, mm, no. Wait, what are we saying no to? May the runs be dandy today. Uh, good luck, have fun. ILU, ILU 2 times 2. Time I shoe. How's it going, Nephi? What's up, man? You see me, see me killing these crows right now, dude? That's for you, man. How long is gonna be short, VB? Yeah, you haven't you haven't been here for that long. Like, why are you why are you even trying? Obviously, if you haven't followed for like two years, like there's no point of even talking in chat. There's a minimum time that you have to follow for before you can say anything. <laughs> that doesn't matter though. You be, you become quite a uh, quite an instrumental part of this this operation. You're very you're very very valued. And this master plan to take over the universe. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. AK, welcome back. Gromnar, what's going on? How are you? High on pot potenus. Potenus. What's up? Considering this game versus Dark Souls, what do you think? Uh, whatever you think is more appealing, man. If you want more hours of playtime and variety? Uh, go Souls. If you want. If you like the concept of this and you think that that's more of a value to you than. Having more playtime and variety, then uh, go with this definitely. You have access to both. Um, I guess technically the price could be important too. I think this is actually cheaper than DS3. So if you're comparing uh, this versus DS3, this is actually less expensive. It might be a better deal. Oh, you're secretly gonna take over my channel. I think everybody here is trying to take over in their own way. They just don't want to say anything about it. I think mostly everybody's aiming to take over there. Hector, what's up? You think you should chill on some Bloodborne today? You're feeling Bloodborne. Nice, man. Nice. Hopefully you're having a good day, Hector. Welcome. Also, Daywalker, Swilla welcome Senpei, back. I have returned. I missed your stream for a few days. It feels like it's been ages. Cosmo, you were here like two days ago, weren't you? Thank you for the, the bits, dude. <laughs> I think you were here like two days ago. Um... I want to make this channel about milk bags. That's your ultimate plan. Stay Plus is trying to implement his uh, his milk bag strategies over here. Make everyone a uh, connoisseur of the milk bag to feed his enterprise elsewhere and and profit him in other shenanigans rather than just the channel. He doesn't, he doesn't want to take the channel over. He wants to 
control it. He wants to uh, subliminally control it. The power of milk. Uh, Resolute Merc I haven't seen you forever, man. Welcome back. I've been doing pretty good. How are you? How is life in the things? In the stuff? Hot sauce, is this harder than DS3? I would say so, yeah. I would definitely say so, especially if you're super new. Um, probably not by much if you're really good at souls in general, but um, it's a lot different, and the differences, I think, make it harder to kind of begin with. Uh, Miss you, Tani. Welcome back. How's it going? Long time since you saw me fight Gascoin. So exciting. So explosively intense. Although, actually, that was a really good fight with Gascoin, though. We saved two Molotovs. It was pretty much perfect. There was no bad RNG. Um, it was really nice. Solid Snake, what's up? Rip. Wait. Anytime someone says rip with a question mark and I don't think they're directing it to someone else, I think that we crashed. And I, I always check OBS and then I'm like, oh yeah. OBS Studio probably wouldn't tell me if that was the case. Unless it Stream wasn't encoding support. at all, but... Still does. B May, thank you for the, the 250 bits, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for dropping your biddies off, man. I'll take good care of them. I'll make I'll make sure I'll make sure I lock up all the cyanide and the barbed wire. I'll make sure I take care of the biddies, man. While you're uh, while you're busy. No worries. No worries, man. <laughs> uh thank you very much though. How's your day going? Maya plays, welcome back. Every time I see that emote, I, th I hear the Steins Gates theme song every single time. Uh, Burn, what's up? How's it going? Danny boy, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Uh, I've been really busy. Uh, things are starting to calm down, so you're trying to get back. Oh, I'm going to get back around and drop in on some streams again. I can understand that. That's, that's nice of you to choose me. I'm glad I'm on your list. I'm on the good list. For now, at least. Hopefully, I'm always that lucky. Okay, we're gonna try to get... Oh, hello. Not today, Miyazaki. Not today. See you later. I love how that dog has been memeing me at such a higher frequency, and I'm not doing anything incorrect. It's like... It's such a fucking unlikely thing to be that many times. Out of all the attempts we've had on the staircase... Uh, let's say the last 10 times, more than half of them, one of the two dogs has instantly gone around the stairs. I love it. I love it. It's like so unlucky. And it doesn't happen for like so many run, dozens of runs in a row, and then it starts happening like half the time. And then it probably won't happen again for a while, but something else will start being weird, you know? Like, Miyazaki dogs are after me. Poking milk bags with a stick. Isn't that like illegal? Can't, can't you get in trouble by that? Won't the milk police be after you? My play is already on 2 at PB. You're so fast. That was like four days ago, I think. I think the 2 at PB was a while ago at this point. It's getting stale. It's going to get to the point where people are like, well, hurry up and get the run already. Because there's three, there's a three, three-way demographic on average. I mean, like there's maybe like little outliers in between, but there's a three-way demographic. You're either um, super, super impressed by how quickly the runs get done. You're content no matter what because you just support the content in like the middle ground, and then like the upper, the upper echelon, we'll say the the super, super critical ones will be like, wow, you haven't done this run yet, expecting it to be done in 24 hours. Like it's just anybody can do it. So. Everyone here, for the most part, falls into one of those three. And I think the people that are just, like, super surprised... Um, they probably had missed some of the runs. They probably had missed, like, certain days that I was live. So they, they, don't, they don't feel the, the length of how long I've been grinding for it as much. But if it goes on, let's just say another week goes by and we still have two hits as a PB. We've either probably gotten very close in the process or I'm playing very bad. If, like, a couple more weeks go by and it's still the same case. I, I would be happy with a 1 at this point, but after a while, it's going to be a 1-0. And now that we've no-hit the DLC twice, I think it's time to try to go for 0. Um, or at least, you know, if I get a 1, I'll be content, but really, really try to get a good DLC in this run. Because there is some, there, there is some notice, notable improvement on it. 
Yeah, I think it was like four days ago. <laughs> Wonder if Miyazaki actually has a dog. Maybe it would give him some perspective. Maybe he has one. I don't know. I would I would always imagine Miyazaki <clears throat> as someone that has like one of those uh, those tiny cats with like the weird faces, like the ones that Lyric has. Like he'd have like one of those those weird cats, and it would be on his shoulder, and he'd be like petting it while uh, at his desk. And then he'd reach over and hit the big red button and reset runs. And his gigantic uh, display of, of many screens would pop up. Uh, Chungus, welcome back. What's up? Where do you find it easier to get hit? The bosses or the levels between them? Um, at this point, I think it's, it's more likely... Uh, it always has been the case where... Uh, I think for anybody, it's more likely to get hit on movement sections. Uh, there's more variables, right? Wherever there's more variables more possibilities of something going wrong. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I got hit on a boss, but... Uh, it's so much more likely that I'll get hit on one of these things right here. <laughs> Your grandma would do this run in two hours? SMH... Fam? Okay. I just got roasted. Oh man, the Scottish Fold Cats. Yeah, that, I I don't remember their names particularly. Maybe that's what they are. Um, but they have like the really interesting like squished like flat faces. They look really unique. I, I would just imagine him having like a completely white cat like that. And it would be on his shoulder. And he, he wouldn't even say anything to it. He wouldn't talk to it at all. He would just pet it. He would just sit there silently petting it and smiling. And push the button on my room. This is dog. What's going on? Feels like ages since you've seen a run. That's because you've been out there bounty hunting too much, man. You gotta, you gotta calm down. Putting people away, dude. That dog, the bounty hunter over here. <laughs> oh man, it would be really cringy if you didn't get that reference. But how's it going, dog? Many dogs, he just eats them. Yeah, that's that's a little bit. That's that's some some dark comedy right there. It's not even really comedy, but I'd probably say, and I mean, I don't know if this is true or not, but I would say, I would hope that Miyazaki would not eat dogs. I don't think he does. I feel like anyone that's done that before could not be responsible for such a good game. That was super epic. That was super, super epic. hitboxes on that. My god. I mean, my timing of my uh, my uh, cocktail would have had to have been earlier or at, like at the latest right when I tossed it for that to be possible, but uh, it was really good. It was a lucky move. Uh, some of the... One of the attacks, one, one R1 definitely whiffed there, but it looked like he still had enough damage done. So that was... It was one of the later R1s, I think. Dog tastes like really good beef. I am disturbed that you would even know that. But moving on to brighter topics. What was one interesting thing out of your weekend for anybody? Even if it's not even like a good thing. It could be like interesting in a negative way. But what's one thing, a fun fact that you can share? It's, it's show and tell time. It's time to share. Diet consists of solely hot dogs. <laughs> Every single time you hear Dog the Bounty Hunter reference, have I done that before? I thought that was the first time, dude. Ever trying no hitting Chalice Dungeons? No, I'm, I don't even want to play Chalice Dungeons normally. There is a very low chance I would do that. But I, I just don't like the idea of Chalice. I don't like materials. I don't like uh, the procedurally generated uh, idea. But then also having a fixed list of things that are kind of like there's some some of them have to be <clears throat> like a certain way. Like it's not it's one it's one of those things where like uh, it, it's trying to combine like roguelike stuff. But then it's also not roguelike because there are there are some things that are generated in a certain way. Right. But then there's th some things that are fixed. Uh, the content in them and the design of them are not special enough. Uh, unless they're in like particular cases. 
and the materials make it really annoying. They, they make it really annoying to have to, to go through and do all that stuff. I'd rather it just be accessible by completion and very, very static in, in the way. Like, maybe you could even just boss rush or whatever. You could just go through everything uh, just to a do a bunch of different fights. I don't like the idea of having to um, get materials. I hate that. And people said, oh, it's like not that bad. It's like, no, it's a, it's a really dumb idea in my opinion. It doesn't make any sense. But it's okay if I don't like Chalice because, I mean, it's not really part of the main game. It's not really part of like the, it's like a side idea. So hating on it and stuff like that's the one detail I don't like about this. Probably the only thing that would stop me from giving it a perfect 10, but it's not mandatory. It's not required. It... It's completely separated to the point where I don't have to do it. There's nothing that's required for me to do in uh, Chalice. It's Friday, but you got offered a new job, Panorama. Nice, man. Did you uh, do you take it? <clears throat> DOS with the... Uh... Oh, thank you for sharing that, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm probably going to give you a 10-minute for that. Because that's not really good. Oh, yeah. You're watching the stream. Fun fact. You like milk bag buckets. Uh, cousin said she had a lonely fat friend who wants some loving and you refused to meet up. JCL, really? That's not... <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of blunt. That's, that's, a, that's a really, like, bold statement. Every time you see your name, you make the reference. Really? Okay. Uh, do I play TF2, k -turd? No. I'm talking about Team Fortress, right? I've tried it before, like, a long, long time ago, but... No, get the lamp. I got the lamp without even seeing the thing. I remembered. I remembered. And I almost slipped off right there, too. Uh, you're like 10. You're not going to say no to an old Chinese lady. Oh, they... They secretly slipped you the dog. Is that what it was? <laughs> they gave you the dog without consent. You're just like, no. I want to eat dog. How do you know it was Dodd? How are you certain? I think that's the next question to ask in, in uh, that particular case. Z Mills, enjoy your lurk, man. That, that emote with the toilet's so funny. <laughs> is that like a pineapple inside of it? Like, what is what is the thing inside the bowl? That's very good RNG. Uh, they let you out work to close the end day cash things. They left you. Left you to close the uh, the, the registers? Okay. You get paid extra for closing? Or is it uh, they just make you do it and they cut your pay out like whatever your hours were? Jimbo feeling good about the runs? Eh, I feel alright, man. I wouldn't say spectacular, especially because we didn't stream yesterday, but you never know. I don't, I don't think we deserve it yet. I think it's still going to take some more effort. But we'll see. Almost pulled a potato there. Th there was some potato grade shenanigans going on right there. For a moment. I almost potatoed. I got it. All the beef at your grandma's house was in fact dog, okay. Well, that's that's really sad, man. I'm sorry they had to do that. Oh man, Jimbo, how are you doing? Pineapple lurking from a toilet. I had a feeling it was a pineapple when I looked a little bit closer. The first time I saw it, I thought it was actually like a like a person or something like that. But apparently it's a dude, or it's a pineapple with a face. You know it's a good party if parents you've invited have to drag their crying children away? Who really wants to stay longer? Um, wait, you were at a party where people were dragging their children away? Avatar? Uh, 
uh, K turd, really? Um, is anybody else experiencing that? Is there uh, in 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 inconsistent quality right now for the uh, the game audio and or commentary? Because there's actually problems people have had where it's on their end, um, and the majority of everyone agrees there's nothing wrong with it. But you got to be critical. So if there actually is something bad uh, and you think that it can be fixed, you got to tell me. Like you can't just think it's insignificant because it's not as big of a deal as some things that you've heard like it has to be addressed so either it's one person having the issue because the video player some something with the platform or it actually is wrong and you gotta fix it looks okay to me it looks perfectly fine to me but I can't tell though the frames yeah we dropped some frames that's bound to happen at some point we barely drop frames anyways but we'll probably drop some frames you're in there had some buffering. Okay, so there's nothing with the uh, the quality. Koi, what's going on, man? You had a buffer too. I'm talking about like the audio, not the uh, the frames. Ever heard anything change? His frame drops in Amelia fight. Okay, I see. That is good to know. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend if anyone seems to have audio issues, mention it, but then also refresh and see if it fixes it. It's probably individualized. All these on point. Lethal, what's up, man? How have you been? What have you been streaming, Lethal? I haven't actually seen you live for a little bit. Zero Razor, what's up? Audio's fine. All right. Thank you for letting me know, just in case. Because there's been days where there's been a significant problem and people just won't say it. They'll, they all know, but they just will not admit it because they don't want to be the person to complain. And you have to. You have to for things to uh, get fixed. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work properly. I won't know. I can only go by my uh, my input levels and stuff like that. My clipping warning and all that shit. So. Not much for me to uh, base it off of. It could be any kind of uh, connection error that still allows a signal, but the quality is not good. But there's like noise. One year sub in 2K17 unbound. Hey man, you were on the road to there. You you got out when it was cool to get out of that. You you avoided the mainstream. Not everybody can dodge the mainstream bullet of being sub for a year. Yo, it, it, it'd be cool if I had a weapon. There we go. Current year jokes and current year. <laughs> yeah, I wonder when that's ever gonna get old. I mean, there was the 2K16 thing. I don't. I didn't really see it as much in 2K15, but it started becoming very, very, uh, very, very noticeable in 2K16 with those jokes. And then now it's. I think it's just established. Although I don't. I would argue it probably wasn't created. People probably didn't start making it like a normal thing only one year ago. I think it's been around, but. It's more popular now, definitely, and I, I would not, I would not bank on anyone stopping anytime soon. It's such an easy meme, right? It's like the most effortless meme, like one of the most like saturated and overdone memes, but it's there. Uh, Kohaku, thank you for the host, dude. If you were streaming, man, how did it go? What's up? I gotta make sure I follow you still. I don't know. I don't know if I do. I'm assuming if you're hosting me that you were streaming. What meme are we talking about with Seam? What's going on, man? Uh, like when people say in 2K17 lull, like people did that last year, but it wasn't a thing in 2015 that I noticed really. So I think it's just becoming a little bit more uh, casual. 
Bubbles banned Kappa from his stream. Bubbles. Uh, like Del Fuego, the guy that did the uh, GDQ thing that everyone was like ripping on him for. Like last year. Banning Kappa, that's pretty funny. Then how will anyone ever achieve the golden Kappa? It will never happen. Splits, please? I just realized that that was a problem. Sorry about that. I think it's because we're just so lightning quick, man. I'm like, boom. Here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. I'm zooming right now. There goes the audio, k -tur. Um, No one else is se seeming to have an issue, though, man. Like, are you 100% are you sure it's not something with the video player... Um, like, have you tested on a mobile device? Have you tested on a different device or, like, refreshed or tried switching the video player to HTML or, uh, Flash, vice versa, or whatever? It's like, everyone else said it was fine. And lately, whenever there's been an issue, it's only one person that has the issue and everyone else agrees that there's no problem. I'll let you watch, k -Turd. Yeah, it might just be the, the, uh, the video player, man. Or something going on on your end. Uh, Fertile Pygmy, what's going on? How are you? Been around 4chan for many, many years, since before 2010, 2011 at least. Okay, so it's it's old school then. It's just I've I've seen it more so this year than last year. 2K18 and 2K17. That's like that's like the sports games, man. We're, pull, we're pulling an EA. Uh, K turd, yeah, no worries, man. No worries. I'm sorry that it won't work. Hopefully, you can hear me saying bye, but. Uh, I'll see you again next time. I am sorry. Just remember the Half-Life 2 run at SGDQ that made you cringe. I don't know what that is. Well, I know I know Half-Life, but never saw that or heard about that. Dibs, what's going on? Good luck. You're not coming here to tell me to shut up, really? I thought you were going to instantly tell me to shut up and then realize I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> How's it going, Dibs? Uh, if you guys want to see someone do some SL1 runs on all the souls, Dibs is doing SL1 on... I think, I think she's finishing DS3 and then she's doing DS2. So follow her stream if, if you do. Or if you want to see that kind of stuff. Um, Zombire, things are going pretty well. Going to Shadows, man. How are you? A lot of random problems while running on Firefox. Really? Uh, PJ, I've never, I've never actually used Firefox while streaming. That's interesting. I had it apparently. I got rid of it recently, but like, apparently Firefox isn't really that good for anything. Although, what is man? What is even Chrome? Like Chrome is so bad in a lot of ways. Uh, the guy missed a skip thirty times. It was painful on uh, Half Life. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's there's a lot more pressure uh, being uh, at a GDQ. Like, the amount of people, not only there in person, but also the people watching is just, like, insane. Like, it's... You, you're having more people watch you than, like, people would watch, like, an actual sport, right? Like, how many people fit in a stadium for, like, football and shit? Like, it's probably more than that. So, you, you're... <laughs> I'm sure you would make a mistake. I'm sure you would probably be, like, freaking out quite a bit. I don't know. You're having quite a bit, bit of people. Uh, also, people that are that are uh, quick to judge based on any mistake. Or I'm sure even if you did everything perfect, they'd have a problem. They'd find something that was like they just would rip on you for something. Even if you were perfect, you could be like so acceptable on every level and do all your runs, get a world record even. And I'm sure people would still complain. There'd always be that audience. There is the separation of those people as well. And then... Uh, and there's people that just like it overall, that don't care. So, and I deal with quite a bit of criticism, and I think that even, it, let, let's say this guy was like good at the room, where he, he wouldn't normally fail to skip that many times. Maybe some of that stuff had to do with it. Maybe, just maybe. Nito has fallen. <laughs> yeah. Um... You're going to use a save file, just don't name it kill yourself instead of name it bubble strats. That's that's pretty brutal, man. 
Finish DS3, by the way. Nice. GG dips. Are you doing uh, Scholar next? Gotta watch the vid. The Nido has fallen. I'll check it out right after uh, we get to Shadows. We're, we're pretty close. How come no one remembers 433 years isn't that long? That's actually pretty quick, man. I mean, I've been alive for like 1,619 years, so that's pretty... It's pretty... Small chunk. Small chunk of time. So, that's not bad. Caesar, welcome back. Thank you for the good luck. Okay, this is where we actually need the luck. So anyone that wants to bless the RNG, you must do it now. <clears throat> you must uh, go for that now before it's too late. Yeah, let's see what's going on with this. Oh God, he's coming back. Ah! <laughs> Pretty funny, man. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's go. Let's... Finally has lost it. <laughs> Had a blast playing Shadow Warrior. Isn't that the thing that was free on Humble, Humble Bundle? That's what people were talking about. Gotta make it a lighthearted joke, even Bubbles joked about the save file using Thor's run this year, which he thought shows some class. Uh, Mark, what's going on? How are you? Thank you for sharing. Completely out of context. You're, I guess I guess you're one of those. The uh, the originality shit posters. I like it. Let's do some shadows. For some reason, I expected that to be a glitch on, uh, on Nita. But it wasn't. guy's doing some Jackie Chan shit in the corner. That's impressive. Barely ever see that attack. kind of spooky. I didn't see like that micro amount of damage left on the one dude. But um, probably something to do with like the uh, maybe there wasn't like an extra bullet. I don't even know actually. Maybe 
Oh, the gem's activated. That's actually kind of weird then. There must have been some lack of counter hit on uh, one of the stuff, one of the things in the setups. So I waited. So that's really weird. I actually, I, I'm i kind of confused of how he had like a tick left. Because the pellet didn't run out. The pellet was still active. I did the exact same combo. So that's really weird. One, two, three, four. I gotta fix the split counter too, because every single time I open uh, window capture on it, it shrinks down the, uh, the counter. So I'm gonna fix that quickly. Okay, one sec. I think that's alright, you guys let me know if that looks fine or not. I think I'm cutting off the brackets a bit, but I'm just gonna leave it. Because it's really annoying. Fix. Ah, uh, Pimic, welcome back. How's it going, dude? Izaki has a tentacle fetish. <laughs> you have to admit, though, I mean, like, the auger is actually a pretty cool item. Uh, and, uh... A lot of the, uh... The Great One enemy type things, they're really cool. I think their design's pretty cool, but there is a lot of them though. I mean, like, Abritus has them, Mikolash has an item that looks like Abritus, I think. One Reborn has them on the front of him. Uh, Moon Presence kind of has like the tails that resemble it. A lot of, a lot of use of that, you're right. There's like the dudes in the DLC that have them on their face. There's, uh, Koss has them, I think. Like, regular Koss. Congrats on World's First No DLC Run Pimic. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Nano Slatter, what's up, by the way? Alright, well, that was a pretty quick split. That's, that's good. It'd have taken a lot longer. His mother is a squid, uh, Mikolash. Is that who you're talking about? Kaz of Triceps, welcome back. How's it going, man? You have made it to Bergenworth. Your final destination. Next up, transfer over to Meme World. Uh, Kohaku, I'm doing pretty good. Sorry that I asked you if you were streaming or not, and then I didn't see what you said. You uh, mentioned what you were playing. Are oh, you talking about Miyazaki? His, Miyazaki's mom was a squid. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. It's uh, it's debatable, but it's it's still there could be some likelihood there. You never know, man. Never know. It explain how he could reset so many people's runs simultaneously. You'd have a lot more uh, coordination to uh, hit a bunch of buttons. Maybe there's more than one button. kind of nice we got that guy as a reference again. I always feel like I'm not going to roll recover that when he falls, though. So I'm just I'm waiting for the day where that happens. It might never. It might be very hard to not roll recover that. Maybe it's easier to land the timing on it, but I'm just waiting for that to happen, then I'd be screwed. Uh, does this, doesn't this game supposedly take inspiration from HP Lovecraft? I believe it does, yeah. I think it does.
So I have an idea of uh, the one time I had like a tiny bit of damage left on ROM. I think I didn't have the gem activated. I feel like I checked it, but maybe I didn't have the gem activated. I gotta start paying attention to that on this fight. Because I have been rushing him without healing first when we drop. And that means I'm not getting a bonus. Why is his name CD-ROM? It's the only thing that made sense as like a... Like a practical joke name, I guess. I don't know. Why not? What else would go with ROM? I, I couldn't think of anything else. It's a pretty bad name, I'll admit it. It's a pretty bad name. Probably could have done something better with more time. Uh, you stream, you're just in the beginning. It goes quite well, if you may say. That's good, dude. I'm glad. What are you What are you playing? What kind of stuff are you playing? It was the first ever to no-hit a game. Hob was really the first one, sort of mirror. Uh, in terms of Dark Souls, yeah. In terms of the solo genre. Uh, one dude had tried to say that he had done a no-hit run before Hob, but he used a shield to block all the hits. So he... Hob did the first uh, actual no-hit without blocking, with, you know, evading every single attack. Evading death, evading... Um, a lot of shit. Romstein. Okay, that's a decent one. Romstein. Seven months going strong with the hitless master BB hitless incoming. I can feel it. Keep up the quality content, man. I still expect big things in it. You'll achieve some major viewer and sub feats with continuous growth. Uh, lethal, thank you for the seven months in a row, man. Thank you for the, uh, the kind words as well. Continue to enjoy your emotes in your hood of edge. Everyone give lethal some, some sub hype. Um, that's nice of you to say, dude. I really appreciate that. That's nice. Thank you for being a part of uh, making that a thing as well. USB the spider? Belize? <laughs> USB. Why would it be called USB? CD-ROMs in 1.9K93. <laughs> Little bell dudes before gargoyles in DS2. One of them threw a firebomb at you as you were attacking. The firebomb got deflected by your axe and went flying in the other direction. I have never seen that. No. Do you have a clip of that? I read half of that before uh, the sub hype, and then I was like, wait. You mean like you exploded it in midair? I've seen I've seen that happen where you swing and like the weapon would cause the firebomb to explode by hitting it, but like I've never seen it be deflected without exploding on impact. That's pretty insane. I kinda want to now though. Playing some firebomb baseball. Uh, Hernandez, what's up? Saying your weird stuff as usual. <laughs> CD-ROM, USB, you felt like there was something there. Maybe. Maybe, but like... I feel like it has to have ROM in the name, right? Like, USB-ROM doesn't... I don't know if it fits as well. Even though, again, CD-ROM's pretty bad. I'll admit, it's pretty bad. Um, I probably should just make it ROM. Either way. I feel like, um... It might be dangerous to start playing around with new split names at this point, where everything is kind of... It's already decided. It's already all good. Uh, Quiddy, welcome back. How's it going, man? I, uh, I, I saw in your title recently that you were going back to this run once next week begins. Are you doing All Boss plus DLC now, or are you going to be doing the All Boss first? Yeah, I should have popped this, too. I'm going to go for the six. I have extra echoes somehow. I have no idea how, but I think it's because uh, the bug dude died. Might be because of that. So I can cut this a little bit closer at least. Waste less echoes. Blu-ray ROM? Ah... Uh. Well, I'm not trying to make it, like, there's no affiliation with the fight in, like, an actual disc. It's just the fact that CD-ROM is, like, a thing. It's a name of something. CD-ROM is, is, a, is a piece of, uh, you know, like, uh, media or whatever. Um, but, yeah, Blu-ray. It's not really because there's anything similar to a disc in the fight. It's just, like, the way the name works. Like, it's a bad name. I'm just going to say it's a bad name. It sucks. And... It, it would have to be something that doesn't even include ROM in the name for it to be a really good name, I think. Like, Blue Potato is good. 
or just leaving it as it is. It's good too. Pacific ROM, because <laughs> he's a giant. Uh, why not floppy disk? Yeah, it has nothing to do with a disk, though. That's the thing. Like, that's... <laughs> uh, Pike Senior... Wait a second. Let me get back out of here. Media Artifact. Uh, Ristopher Catkins. What's up? <laughs> Ristopher Catkins. That's amazing. Uh, good to watch you on your Sunday afternoon. The wife and baby are sleeping. Thank you for the entertainment while they sleep. No worries, man. If I, if I wake them up by accident, you can blame me. You can sue me if you want. If I say something too edgy and they just, like, arise from their slumber, I'll take the blame. Rom Emanuel? You have the answers? CD Rom? That's, okay, that's a pretty good one. I like, there's, there's, a, there's a meme within the name right there, the way it's spelled. I like that. NJ Chopper, you like CD-ROM? That's what I was thinking, like, that's fine, but, like, now there's... The thing is, no matter what you make a split name, someone's always going to suggest, why Why don't you make it this? I think this is better. It, there's no way to win. You can't win. Doesn't matter what it is. That's, that's the case for a lot of stuff. It's the case for, like, split ordering, what the split counter, like, has, has on it, um, what, how big the counter is, what side of the screen it's on, like, what font you've used. Like, there's so many things that will never be perfect. One thing I can try to do, though, is at least make this run perfect once. That'd be cool. I can assure you that one time. No more, though. No more. No more. One is the limit. Alright, I'm not being chased on that. That's good. I feel like the dude that chases is the guy that has the gun, but he puts it away. For the sword. I know there's other enemies that are the exact same that do that later, so that's what I'm gonna have to guess. Rom the big ass fucking spider, St. John, what's up? Untrusted floppy Rom. Well, she does flip and flop. There is some flopping. Rom Nar finds CD Rom amusing. Okay, see, we're make we're a big hit with the names right now. All we need is someone to say something nice about one of the split name, and I'm gonna I'm gonna feel pretty good about today. <laughs> Amygdala, try try tripophobia trigger. Tripophobia. What's tripophobia, Augustus? Tell those people to no-hit games and name their own splits, whatever they want. Yeah, I know, I could do that, but I mean, I'm obviously, like, just by even streaming, um, like, to the community we have, I'm going to be subjected to creative opinions and differences and shit like that. It's the same thing as someone asking a question a million times. I'm gonna have to get the same question hundreds of times for a lot of common questions from many different people, even the same people sometimes, so it's like... Uh, it's the price you gotta pay. I'm used to that. It's not a big deal. And it's the same thing with like the creative differences. Like, no one's, not everyone's gonna be pleased. You can't please everybody. That's life. Um, but I don't know. After a while, though, I mean, like maybe I just I feel like maybe there's not even a point of having meme names for the the counter. Then there's even less room to suggest maybe. But. That that doesn't really mean much. At the end of the, it's it's never gonna change. It'll be the same, and I'm okay with that. That's that's fine. I think it would be weird if it wasn't that way at this point. Baby Blue Rage is the worst you've ever named a split. Baby Blue Rage, you think it's not good? Well, he's a baby. He's baby blue, and he's pissed off. So that makes sense, right? It's it's. Not only, it's not only a pun, but it's it's physically accurate, you know, like it's legitimately accurate. Moon Potato, Mark Lamberto, what's up, man? Coming in with the suggestions as well, I see. 
Oh, he probably meet me on this one. I think this is going to be a, a Hunter's Mark. Yeah, that's most definitely a reset on that. At least we're not wasting the Echoes. The fear of a lot of little holes together makes some people uncomfortable, like porous things, like like uh, fossils and stuff like that. Like coral and shit. Even, even a sponge, maybe? A rom... a romnophobia? Not very clever, though. Barry, what's up? Maybe. Maybe, man. Just maybe. Force Eater, uh, read-only memory rom? <laughs> that's, that's very literal. Okay. Cleric Beast split name. Cleric Beast should just be called Easy. Or, or I could call it the world's hardest boss ever. So, what's going on, Fructus? How are you doing, man? Roof Dragons, best split name from DS1. Gargoyles, Roof Dragons. Gargoyles aren't dragons, though. They are, they are fiends of some sort. Commonly associated with statues. Depicting statues depicting fiendish creatures, but not of the likes of dragons. Yeah, why can't I hit your finger, man? Okay, I'm gonna try to get him over here. Get him closer. We gotta get this brain sucker some nail extensions or something so I can just like hit his nail, hit his fingernail or something. Uh, Chimodin, what's up? How's it going? Do gargoyles typically breathe fire? I don't. I don't see why they couldn't. I don't think there's like a rule or like a book that says anything where like they they have to only physically operate or something. I don't know. It's a good question though. If it breathes fire, it's a dragon, in your opinion. Okay. Fair enough. Mon Monty's opinion is held heavier in my heart than yours. Than anyone else's, because he's a Nike employee. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this is ultimate meme once again. No chance I'm going to actually get him from here. Unless he steps back down. You can get him to move every time you attack. Not by much, though. Technically, dragons breathing fire isn't only specific to them. Uh, wyverns breathe fire, too, but they're not dragons. Exactly. Sofer coming in with the facts. Defending my honor in 2K17. Yeah, so for, so for you have a good point, man. You have a good point. I still stand by the fact that gargoyles typically are not dragons. I don't know. Like, would a statue of a dragon constitute as a gargoyle? I, I highly doubt it would. Maybe I'm wrong. Ride wyverns in Shadow of Wardor. I think there's a new Mordor coming out soon. Is anybody interested in that? <laughs> Facts on fantasy creatures? Yeah, I guess. I guess that, that's kind of silly already. The irony, man. This is probably going to be another meme. I think this is like the overall record of how many times I've gotten memed by this guy. Okay, he's moved his hand close enough where it's possible, maybe. Maybe. Might be able to hit him. No, I can't. Well, all time record for memes. Uh, what will I be doing after this no hit? All boss plus DLC plus all boss chalice dungeons, Shimoda? No, we're going to be playing some DS2 after this.
gonna be routing out the uh, the uh, DS2 any percent. I would imagine it's not likely he's gonna do that again, but I'm gonna have to see. And I'm gonna have to make more bullets right now so I don't run out, just in case. So we'll do that if we uh, have to go back again. I gotta remind myself. New Shadow of Mordor will be great. They'll improve a decent game that was already really fun. I've seen a tiny bit of it. It looks pretty cool, but like. I'll probably just watch bits and pieces of people playing it. Um, doesn't want to give you that key. No, he really doesn't. He's doing a good job, to be honest. Watchdogs. Is there another Watchdogs? Played the last one two weeks ago. Can't say you're too excited. It's extremely repetitive. How long is it? Isn't it kind of like a shorter game? Heard that it's not the longest. Rest is the constant dodging. Constant dodging. Uh, Jax, what's up? Gibbers. Oh, can I please get you? Thank you. Probably actually use a real mark on this. I'm gonna keep the bold one on though. Because we got 3k from that. I'm glad I didn't waste one before that. This is good. Character has some hipster glasses on, Jax. Dude, this is the Pepe. This is feels cool, man. I'll show you his face in a second. Chisel, what's going on? Can't open the door from this side. Yeah, I know, man. I was hoping that after 5,000 repetitive actions towards it, it would break. But it didn't. Oh, look, shiny WGR knob. Okay. Wait, I said I'd show Jax the face before we go back. I get slugged quickly. That's uh, that's Pepe. Feels cool, man. Looks like someone turned his shades upside down. He's like got reverse aviators or something like that. Okay. Uh, Rafalo, thank you for the three months in a row, man. Continue to enjoy your remotes, your hood of edge. Got the bronze. It's a pleasure to have you as one of the lurkiest people of all time. Almost always here as well. Even though many people probably don't know you're here all the time, but you are, and I appreciate it. And uh, that's cool that you decided to sub that many times. You're slowly but surely becoming even more integrated into the system of mind control. Little do you know, it's a good thing. I promise, totally not terrible for you. <laughs> I probably could sprint right to the item on that. If I waited long enough, I would imagine I could sprint the entire time on that. But I had one incident, and I don't know what caused it. It must have been, like, the dude was, like, really, really close, and I just ran too fast in the first part. But I did get him to turn around. It's pretty sketchy. Alright, we're, we're making our way back down, Yargu. Put the hat back on, sir. You don't like it? You don't like my character? I think that could be another remote in the future. Definitely. Three months already, time flies. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. It's pretty weird. In a good way. It's like a good weird. It's like, whoa, that's really weird. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, it does mean a lot, man. Seriously. 
being able like seeing your name on the bot when I started almost every time is pretty creepy like not in a, not in a bad way but it's like it's like like whoa man that lurk is strong there's some people that just are like lurking so hard and it's hard for me to say thank you for like watching because you're not in chat as often but at least you sometimes make the effort to come out of it you, you grace us with your presence all right uh one second get rid of the cane get rid of this put this there one reborn is so simple yet funny one reborn drops the hottest mixtapes uh, Chmodin, do I like platformers? I do. I do if they're good. There's a lot of uh, platformers I play that are really good. Not many that I've tried ever that are bad, but... Um, depends uh, Depends what kind of style it is, man. But yeah, I would say I do. I think the next time you'll see us playing something like that... Um, gonna give uh, Blasphemous a chance when it comes out. Um, I missed, I think I missed the deadline to uh, support the Kickstarter for it. I don't know, does anybody know if there's still a chance that you can, uh, you can be a founder of it? Because uh, I want to get that when it comes out, definitely. That's that's almost, the, it's a guarantee. I'm gonna give it one chance. Uh, looks very, very nice. And like they they can they have so much more budget to do stuff with it than it originally was intended for. That uh, I think it's gonna turn out really nice. For which game, Refollow? Uh, Blasphemous, I think that's what it's called. It's like uh, Metroidvania Souls-like uh, indie game. Their budget was originally 50 grand, and they got I think they're almost at 300 thousand dollars now. So they're going to make it pretty amazing compared to what it was going to be. And it, it already looked like it would have been pretty good from the $50,000 standpoint, but a lot more resources now. And it might still not stop there. They, they might fund it past $300,000. Uh, with I think, I think I saw something about like a final deadline for it, but I want to make sure that uh, I contribute so I can get early access to it. Can still get a founder thing, let me check. Alright, I gotta do that soon then. Uh Depop Blood, welcome back. I was watching your stream earlier, man. You were going through Ash Lake. There was some nostalgia there. How did that how'd the rest of that go? I had it on kinda like lurking, but Um I didn't want to say anything in chat. I just I didn't feel like it. I'm sorry, but I was there. Um a, f a flippantly fabulous day. It's going pretty good. We had some really good practice, I think. Aside from uh, from Moon Presence, I think it was pretty good. So I can say it's been flippantly fla uh, fl la 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 la. flippantly f fabulous. I want to say flabulous. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> the fuck is platformers? Ahad, platforming is where you're like, uh, it's usually two dimensional, and you're trying to uh, go through an adventure and on a series of like uh, vertical based levels, you know. There's a lot of verticality in a way, where it's uh, like Super Mario's platformer, original stuff. Even the 3D ones are platformers still, in a way. Uh, Kirby, uh, I guess, um, Castlevania, Metroid, stuff like that. You can back it until August 31st. Want me to whisper you the link? Yeah, that'd be really cool, man. Thank you for doing that. I will have to check it out. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I won't say I'm hyped, but I'm pretty keen on seeing what it turns out to be because, like, I don't know, man. It, it looks really cool. It looks like the next indie game that's exciting. Other than maybe, like, I don't know, Absolver, I think, is slightly indie, but it might go mainstream. I think it's, like, the most indie thing that I've seen that has such a big production value behind it now. So I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on it, definitely. Flippantly fabulous, I know. Like, what kind of vocabulary is this? It's been quite flippantly fabulous. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna have to make sure I make a note of not going back, though, on that lamp. I wasn't supposed to make a trip back yet. There was no point of that. Play the Absolver beta, it seems like it'll be okay. Kami Dog, what's up? I had the uh, closed beta 
on my computer and then the day I tried to play it was the last day the server was up and it had shut down like hours before so um, didn't get a chance to play it hopefully they do a open beta before because I'm kind of skeptical on getting it on release but I guess we'll see how that goes I've heard I've heard only good things from everybody that's tried it though but it's not really a matter of if they think it's good initially it's about the longevity and uh, support from the developer for it and stuff like that that's more important. Yeah, okay, let's see if we can not get mean by that guy. It's always nice being able to kill that extra dude right there, because you, you get the echoes. I, mean, I guess I technically throw them away right here, but in the case where I used a bold mark elsewhere, I probably could have saved the ones over here. I probably should have done. Either way. Oh yeah, we got 200 marks on this. That's weird. Did I play Hyperlight Drifter Atreus? I've seen a lot of it, but I have not played it, though. No. Production database went down at work, and you're on call, so you missed what happened. To Intran, best of luck on the runs. Kick some ass. Intran, this is still your run, man. This is still you. I'm happy to tell you that you are safe. For now. Ha 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 ha. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're good, man. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Hopefully the uh, the database gets fixed. I'm not sure how um, important that is, but hopefully it gets fixed. Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, man. Not that song. We're not getting that song stuck in our heads right now. That should be illegal to mention. Should not be able to get that stuck in my head. Hyper Light Drifter is really good. Yeah, we discussed it recently. I was saying it has the the one of the most basic uses of color, but looks so good with like the limited uh, color palette that they got for it. And uh, it, looks, it looks fun. I've just seen too much of it at this point where I wouldn't really... Get excited from playing it the same way. Why are we missing two blood chunks? Why is that a thing? Why? I think I got the stair ones, right? Hmm. Do we pick up the crawler ones? I think we also got the crawler ones. That's weird. I could go plus seven on this and be fine, but like. I'm I'm confused as to where they would be where they'd be missing from. Go parl chunks early. We could kill parl with plus eight now if we wanted to as well. Maybe I should do that. Plus seven parl with a buff. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might do that. I think I think I think I might. It's really weird though, I don't know why that would be a thing. Did anybody see when I went to any of the chunks, me missing two of them? Because I think it's between the crawler or... I don't think it has to do with the... the stairs, but I don't think any of them are safe to go back and get now. Definitely not. I'm trying to remember, like... It's a bundle of two somewhere, so it would have to be the crawler, it would have to be... Oh, you know what? Maybe there's still one more step. Yeah, there's still more I gotta do, but... Okay, that's what it is, never mind. Never mind, we're good. We're fine. One more thing to do first. <laughs> I missed them, Kella. You lied! Well, I, I guess you're telling the truth. I missed something, but it wasn't missing something that I went past. It's I forgot that we have one more part to this. Oh, God. V Saucy, what's up? How's it going? How are you doing, V? Doing it in a 15 rest? Okay. So, this was the part that I forgot. But now we got plus seven, so I mean, that's really exciting. Wow. Amazing damage. 
super apart that really doesn't even require amazing damage. Although it does make these guys... Oh, I guess the first dude gets two-pieced. Did you know that carrots were all once purple? Someone's brought this up before, and we went into some sort of tangent about purple carrots. And other colored fruit, or other vegetables that are weird and stuff like that. But this has been mentioned before. Oh, he just got wrecked with that plus seven. See you later. See you later, friend. Yeah, to be fair, I'd, I'd eat a purple carrot. I would definitely eat a purple carrot. Next thing you'll talk about green oranges. <laughs> God. That was so slow right there. That kind of bothered me. Reminds you of the colored ketchup from years ago. Oh man, I remember that overkill. You're right. There was colored ketchup. That was so bad. That was so bad, dude. Why was that even a thing? And the ad for it made it look so appealing too. It's like, dude, who needs that? Green orange equals a lime. Limes are kind of similar. Uh, they're, they're less sweet though, obviously. So I think a lime would be more like a green lemon, right? More, more similar to that. But hey now, let's not get carried away. Talking about all these crazy fruit creations. All these, all these theories of fruit. Might go a little bit crazy. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna level up with the weapon quickly, then I'll get the items. But that was the the situation right there with the chunks. I was gonna say, it's almost impossible for me to imagine missing any chunks that I had to make it to without skipping over um, the area of them. And this area was something we hadn't gone to yet. I didn't skip over it, so like... If I skipped over any of the chunks before that point, that'd be really bad. I, f I feel like I wouldn't even... I wouldn't have even made it this far if I was forgetting stuff like that. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna... Get some more of the cocktails quickly. Let's do that. I almost was tempted to kill Parl early though. That would have been so funny. Elephant, what's going on? What about fruit? We're talking about uh, purple carrots. And the lime's relation to the orange and green oranges and stuff. Colored ketchup when you were a kid. Yeah, I don't think I was into the idea of that. And I, I don't hate ketchup, definitely not. But like, colored ketchup, man. Weird. Very weird. Okay, we got all of our stuff. Let's go. Do only affiliates and partners get VODs, Sertimir? No, you can turn on uh, past broadcasts in your settings. Uh, partners get 60 of them, uh, and affiliates and non-affiliates get 30, I think. Uh, so 60 slots versus 30 slots of... You have the past 30 days for um, or two months for partners, I believe. Unless you highlight it or uh, save it as an upload or something like that. Alcatraz, what's going on, man? Minty Bleach, welcome back. Why have you not seen April in ages, Glorious? She's probably busy with work or something like that, man. She's got a pretty important job, so I would imagine that. And you have to also keep in mind, there's a lot of people that probably are still here sometimes. Maybe they lurk, or maybe... Uh, Maybe they would like to be here. They don't have anything against the stream, but they just don't like Souls that much anymore. Um, and that that could even be people that used to stream Souls or like were like playing it a lot. So that's another big deal too. You can't appeal to people forever that don't like Souls anymore. Um, it's gonna be cases of that here and there. So it could be any of those things. I would guess she's probably really busy. 
well, whatever the case, I don't know. All I know is this, this cocktail has to land in the right spot, and the second one has to land in an even better spot than the first spot. Here we go. So far, you've been lurking for like four years or something? I haven't even streamed that long, man. That sounds pretty pretty OP, though. You were lurking before I even had a channel. You were waiting, you were camping the creation of my channel. Baby Blue Rage sounds like the blue smelter demon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Smelter Demon gets pretty pissed, but like... I mean, it's all accurate. There's nothing wrong about that statement. Like, he is baby blue-colored, he is a baby, and he freaks out. So, like, what is the problem with that? I'm sure there's there's edgier names. It's not the edgiest name. It's kind of funny. Just a little bit. How can you not like Souls anymore? Is that even possible? Well, from what I knew... Like, there's, there's some people that didn't even play Souls that much that would just watch because they like the stream, but they might just get tired of Souls content, right? It's another thing, too. Uh, what was my first stream? Were there any followers from that area here? Uh, I didn't get followers for the first month of me streaming, man. It was uh, the second month where things got off the ground. First month was troubleshooting and stuff like that. Uh, and there are people... My third follower ever, he's a mod, and he subbed for... 24 months he's got the diamond hood he's here sometimes and then there's a couple people that have been here from like the first couple months to a few months and then there's people that have been here there's there's a handful of people that are still around a lot from the first six months um but yeah man i don't know i'd say there's actually quite a quite a large amount of people here from like when i was around the earlier times than some people would have but I also streamed on a different schedule when I made a schedule, so... Because my work was, uh... Was, um... Getting in the way of that, so, like, I had to have, like, a... I had a different schedule for a bit, and then when I went full-time, I had a different schedule than that. They replaced my old work schedule, and then I had the change-up, uh, last year of this schedule. So, like, it depends, man. Like, uh, some people were used to watching streams that would be friendly for that time, and now it's not. key factor right now if you want to do something that's like super advantageous don't change your schedule ever find a really good one and then just keep it forever i mean it might not work you're probably gonna have to change it at some point depending on like how life goes but if you can keep a similar schedule the entire time that's that's op man that's really good very very good That was that weird thing with the back stun again on that. My gems are fine. We got plus eight, but the back stun didn't work. I feel like that's a random glitch. I don't think it's actually anything I'm doing wrong because my timing's identical. The spot I hit him on is fine. Um, and I even hit him more than just the two times and it still doesn't stun on the third hit. So it's really weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Everything's identical, but like there's been two, that's the second time in total that I've done this run where all my stuff is perfect. But the back part of him doesn't stun on the uh, the second hit. And it makes no sense. It has to be a glitch. There's no way that it's uh, anything I'm doing. Because even subtle changes in timing would still be fine for that. And the third hit would have confirmed it. But it's like the fourth or fifth hit. And it's like the game doesn't recognize I'm hitting that part of him or something like that. So it's kind of weird and, and a little bit scary, I guess. But it has to be some sort of bug. 
All right. Um, one more hunter's mark left. I'm gonna save that for later. Is this the gum? <laughs> Luality, what's up? How's your favorite voice doing? By the way, don't tell Faraz, but I'm doing pretty good. How are you? <laughs> oh God. I was going Luality. I was watching you play some. Uh, I think it was like. Witcher? I think you were doing Witcher. I finally caught a little bit of Witcher. It was pretty cool. And um, if anyone else here doesn't know Luality, doesn't follow her, you probably should. Uh, it does some cool shit like Witcher 3, uh, some Souls, Darkest Dungeon, probably other variety in the future. And um, has bunnies, is the evil overlord of, of bunnies and controls the highest uh, ratio of rabbits to humans in the entire world. And whispers to them and makes them do evil things when no one looks. And has some pretty cool emotes of them too. You demonstrate the uh, the cult, the cultism. Is that even a thing? I don't think that's a word. But I'm gonna level up right now, and distract you with sick pawn shop strats. You'll never know the difference. Although I should have only sold like one of those. Actually, I'm not supposed to level. Never mind. We will do that after. Do a no-hit run on Witcher, Leo? I don't even like Witcher, man. I mean, it's okay to watch. It's not my kind of game. I don't play the story stuff, really. Uh, it's not mechanically... Uh, not mechanically interesting enough for me to want to do runs on it. Um, but it's a good game. If you want to just enjoy a game, it's definitely good. That's what it's for, right? But yeah, if I if I had played Witcher before and I was like into it, then maybe. But even people that are into it, I don't think they would do that. Streamer named Donnie Wreck, he runs Bloodborne No Hit 2, but he has his own way of doing it. He's really great. You should check him out sometime. Joe, uh, I do know Donnie, yes. I am sub to Donnie. Although he hasn't put up any emotes yet. Waiting for his emotes to be, be here. Or at least his, his, his uh, regular sub emote. Captain Hayo, what's going on? Hio, Hayo. I don't know how you say that. Is it Hio? The hardest questions of all time. How do I pronounce this name? How do I do it? Fight Jackie? Who's Jackie? Is Jackie Chan watching the stream right now? Is it because I said his name earlier? What an honor. Festive, I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you? Back, Sensei, what's going on? What do you see me slaughter some crawlers right now? Rah. Most exciting, intense action you've ever seen in your life. Oh. I'm hitting them even when they're dead and celebrating afterwards. Yeah. Jackie Chan's a regular here, he's just a lurker. I had a feeling. I used to watch so much of the cartoon that he had when I was little that I'm sure he's paying me back right now. Uh, Anthony, what's going on? How are you? Doing some some runs, man. No runs, the runs, it's the run. Then I'm done. Son. Would it be too... Uh, too uh, shallow to ex to expect a sub from Jackie Chan. Would I would I be like out of place to think that he should sub to me? Is like 
I just think it would be really cool. That's all it is. I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't want him to because, like, I want to feel, like, fucking all, all powerful and shit. Like, I just think it'd be cool. Let's, let's get Jackie to stuff. Someone, someone tell him something. Whisper to Jackie Chan, tell him, like, yo, man. I heard that, uh, is the place to be, you know? Don't make a mistake, if you know what I mean. Give him an elbow or something like that, like a couple winks. I think he'll get the idea. Or he'll probably break your fingers. He might do that. Um. But yeah. Let's get RNG. Uh, so you do the run. Time the run. Uh, the run is not time, no. I, I like to check the time to see how fast we do it at the end, just in case uh, I think I can make improvements on things. Because some runs go slower depending on RNG. But, uh... Time is not the most important factor in it. The only thing time helps on this run is uh, making room for more resets in one stream. So efficiency is kind of like, you know, time plays into efficiency, but it's not the most important thing. Yo, Jackie, you don't sub to this guy. I heard he called print Fat Princess a bitch. <laughs> Foolish Francis. Ah, yeah, Jackie. Oh my god. I remember that. Jackie Chan's amazing. Bunny never subbed to you. You do everything for him, but the thing didn't even sub. Wow. Wow. I could imagine duality having, like, a bunny, and the bunny has, like, a... Has like a, a like a smartphone or like an iPad or something like that because she thinks it's like a child. She puts like seat belts on it in the car and stuff, just like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> As a baby seat. Uh, you learned something today. At this rate, what did you learn? Get a sub from Morgan Freeman because he heard of your narration skills. Wanted to see if they're on his level. Nah, not even close. Maybe if it was like a like a. A self cringing parody or something like that. Okay, we're gonna go for the rest of the stuff. Give me the stuff. I'm gonna get more of these. And we're gonna get items. Lots of items. Stupidest place you've ever gotten hit in Bloodborne during a run, including before DLC. Uh. As of late on this particular run with DLC, the stupidest hit that I took was uh, getting caught on the dude's kneecap for like half a second. That was probably the stupidest. Because there wasn't a mistake with anything other than placement. It was so subtle that um, it was actually hard to see. It wasn't even like a noticeable mistake. It was really, really subtle. So it would have been hard for me to like uh, proactively avoid that. Like so It would have had to have happened that way for me to even know that that's possible. Because... I wasn't even like that off of the like the straight path I had to take, but uh, yeah, that was the stupidest hit. That was recently, and it probably won't happen again at this point. I'm hoping it doesn't. Now I'm thinking of it every time. But uh, stuff like that. You meant by my own fault. That is my everything that happens that leads me to being hit. Unless it's a straight up glitch that breaks the code of the game as intended, is my fault. Doesn't matter how uh, small it is, it's still my fault. I'm the one pressing the buttons, I'm responsible for all the failures. Um, there's things that I don't feel as responsible for because once again, it's something that's like so unlikely or again, it's a glitch, but uh, it's, still my, it, it's still my responsibility at the end and that wasn't a glitch, so it's my fault. So that's that's gotta be it. Despite all my rage, I'm still just souls born in a cage. <laughs> oh man. I'm still just Nick Cage in a cage, that's what you could say. Oh man. I'm still just Nicholas in a cage. <laughs> uh, Toby, what's up? How's it going? Oh, actually, you know what? There is also something else. 
There's something else. Um, that was also very stupid on a boss fight, but it was a glitch though. Um, where Mikalash like floated in midair, but that's not my fault though. So the only thing I can do is avoid like hitting him into that exact portion of the handrail and hoping it doesn't happen again. But like it's still not really my fault because it's broken. It's it's breaking the intended nature of how collision works in the game and stuff. So it's like. But that was that was the funniest though, and most unfair, I think. Oh, we have a little bullets right now. We wasted so many bullets earlier. Not good. Very bad. Dank memes? Oh, dank memes, okay. Dank memes right now. Come on, dude. No reason that you should be doing that. Okay, he's completely fucking stupid right now. This is really annoying. It's gonna be a uh, liability because the skeleton timers. Unless he gives me perfect RNG in the next, like, 10 seconds. This is... This is trash, and it's probably worth Hunter's marking. What is life right now, man? Damn it. playing peekaboo man my fucking pellet ran out right at the same time right there as i was leaving like it would have been a hunter's mark if he had done that one more time easily and that's kind of sad you should never have to hunter's mark and make a lash on the first part of the fight that's pretty impressive Oh, at least we got left RNG, that's good. Sorry folks, but on account of bad weather conditions and other memes, there will be no trivia today. Feel free to listen to the sounds of screams coming from the man in the cage. Who's the dankest boss in Bloodborne? Ah. Uh, question good question man dankest on what kind of like what what kind of rating system like dank is in cool or dank is in like wow like this is like a moist fight that's like dark and like damp and stuff uh, TV what's going on you're actually at an arcade bar an hour from your house they have a drink called Estus which you found very amusing and you wanted to share it does, what does it look like is it uh, like a reference kind of thing, or is it just a, a coincidence the name's the same? That's pretty cool, man. You say Ludwig? Ludwig's pretty dank. Um, I personally like Orphan the most, so I have to say that. bullets are so bad it's actually kind of hard hitting him like that it's funny can't really spam it you gotta wait
Spicy lemonade. Uh, Dr. Anger, welcome back. One up, what's up? How's it going? Want to play older DS games, but you're too much of a graphics whore, Gromdar? Uh, which ones did you want to play particularly? I'd say Scholar on PC or on uh, PS4, Xbox uh, One. Or DS1 with DS Fix. Both look alright. Look pretty damn good. Uh, DS1 with DS Fix actually looks better than Scholar, in my opinion. It's comparable to. Uh, DS3 even, maybe? I don't know. Depends what you uh, play them on, I guess. And then Demon Souls obviously will always look old until they remake it, or if they do. Never seen that glitch before? Joji, it's not a glitch, man. It's, um, what if he turns left, he has to appear whenever he takes damage in the spot that he dropped into, right? Because he's supposed to teleport whenever you hit him until he makes it to the last room. So if he doesn't, if he didn't use a mirror to appear out of the mirror behind him, then he can only appear on the spot that he dropped down. So when he's poisoned, he's constantly taking damage, meaning he will appear in the same spot every tick of poison. Uh, it looks kind of buggy, but it's not a glitch, though. It's just the way it works. So if I were to throw anything at him, he would still do that, but it just looks like it's weird because he's taking constant damage from poison instead of uh, it being spaced out. But every single time he takes a physical hit, he has to teleport to anywhere in the room where he last came from. Um, or, like, where he's headed to. And if there's a mirror that he took at that part, he'll always pop back out of the mirror. Um, and if he takes, a, like, a, if he goes straight instead of left, he'll go into the room with the mirrors. Then, like, after, like, 20 seconds, pop back up where he is right there. It's just really weird. Weird kind of thing because the mechanics of him teleporting every time he gets hit on the run. On the last part. Demon Souls and DS1 maybe too. Yeah, if you have DS Fix with DS1, it should be fine. I think you'll be alright with that. Also, screwed this up a bit. Gonna have to fix that after. It's not good. It's pretty dangerous. It was pretty neat, Joji. Yeah, man, you can you can do that yourself if you poison them. Although, like I said before, if he goes straight, you don't want to poison him at all. Uh, vodka, yuzu, lemonade, orange juice, Szechuan, peppercorn, infused vodka float. And I'm assuming that makes it orange with all those things. Because they look orange. That's kind of cool, man. Um, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your time there, but man, I'll see you later if you're taking off. Thank you for coming to say hi, though. I appreciate that. Oh, my angle on the, the setup for that looked kind of shitty. It was a little bit too overhead. I did not like the angle on that. Is Galbalt here too? Galbalt, what's up, man? Crumpling all the fools over here. Like the edgiest son of a bitch. Uh, Danny, welcome back. Good luck for your runs. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Husky Smalls, welcome. How's it going? <clears throat> um, you're going to take a look at DS Fix. Alright, sounds good. It's a little bit tricky to get uh, working properly, but if you have any questions, I can try to help you with it. Uh, you should be able to find some sort of instructional thing on it, but there are a lot of uh, tiny details that can make it either not function at all or not even like open the game. So there's that, and then there's also other issues that can happen while using it, depending on what your settings are on the INI file. 
But if you have any kind of specific issues or can't get it to work, um, I'll, I'll try to help you with that. Uh, you do zero hit speed runs. These aren't speed runs, man. They're challenge runs. So we're, the only goal is to not get hit by an enemy the entire time. That is the, uh, the goal, Husky. I have done speed runs before, but um, only for a little bit to try them out. I wasn't super, super into them as much as uh, challenges, but it was cool to understand like the kind of mindset, the kind of things that people go through doing uh, decent speed runs and stuff. Definitely a lot different. Want to do a no death DS run first though? Gromnar, do it. I believe your bunny tries to zero hit real life every day, avoiding you to pick him up. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like he's never going to complete that run. That bunny's going to be fucked <laughs> forever. Um, Stream Kinky, what's up? How's it going, dude? Alright, we're gonna... I could level again, but we're gonna leave it. What do I want to do? Oh yeah, I want one fire paper. Ah, I guess we don't really need the fire paper. Now we're fine. Tiger and that bunny is going to get fucked forever. <laughs> Seriously, though, like, it's never going to get that run. If it's trying to get her to pick her, or trying to avoid her picking them up, then, like, it's screwed, man. Okay, so this is, like, return to the scene of the crime with uh, Carl Split. Get a little bit of revenge right here, hopefully. I will definitely feel better about that. I think a good strat for this part would probably be like, if you see that dude not attack immediately and he goes, he just starts speeding like midway through that, uh, that room in between the, uh, the tunnel and then like the first hallway or whatever, you just get him to attack through a wall like on the last doorway or something and you're fine. Get the chunks. I think that might be the best way to do it. Like hang back for a second, get him a jump, and then go hit a wall or something. Might try that next time. How long did it take you to master this? I would not say I'm even close to mastering this game, man. Uh, I'm just trying my best. Uh, we've been playing, we've been streaming this game for, we're coming up on almost two months, uh, and I think in about a week and a half, we'll be, we'll, we will have had streamed it for two months almost, for every stream. Uh, so I have been playing any percent, no hits, we got that, then we did all boss without DLC. Uh, we got that over a week ago, and now we've been doing this for a week or so. The odd days off, but. Yeah, I don't think you can ever really master this game. It's not one of the games that's that's like that. You can get decent, but you'll always get your ass kicked. Like, and you'll get it kicked quite a bit too. The the harder you want to uh, make a challenge, you, you're still gonna have an equal amount of failure to someone playing their first playthrough. It's just gonna be different. It's gonna be a lot more subtle, but uh, like, I don't think you ever. You don't. I my belief is no one ever gets good at Soulsborne. It's just like you can you can up the bar, but you can't beat like everything you can't always be better than everything it's just not possible it's too it's too brutal man <laughs> too many memes too many unexpected things 
Uh, there's always some detail to learn, like you can never learn everything. Uh, any Souls game no-hitted yet, Daco? Uh, not no-hit? Uh, every single Souls game has been no-hit before, at least with any percent. Uh, this will be world's first all-boss plus DLC if we get it. Um, and then DS2 has yet to have all boss and all boss plus DLC. I don't believe anybody's ever going to do all boss plus DLC on DS2, but I do know one person that uh, routed out the regular all boss on it. So that might be a thing. Otherwise, uh, yeah, they've all been at least no hit with the mandatory stuff. Which is really, really cool in my opinion. I think that is great. He's just now killing the boss. It took you a lot the first time you found him, Dian. Yeah, we do Paro pretty late in the game. He, he is optional, right? So anything that's optional that we can uh, save for later, we will save as long as we can. <sighs> what do you even pick up all the insight for? You swear it just wastes away when you play the game? I got to use every little bit of insight in this run, man. It's for the, uh, the bolt paper, uh, fire paper, beast pellets, elixirs, cocktails... Uh, even the initially we need blood shards with it as well. Uh, we buy every single thing in the entire uh, insight bath except for uh, the lead elixirs and the, the the larger denominations of upgrades after we get the, uh, the plus six. Even sometimes I buy gas coin stuff so I can sell it for actual echoes if I'm short on something for emergency but uh it, like any any insight i can pick up is valuable like sometimes we're left with extra at the end because now we have the dlc in the run but it gets to a point where we don't need elixirs anymore and then that's when we have a surplus of insight but then again on german and moon presence we could spend quite a bit of buffs and then have to like hunter's mark out anyways so it's always good to have the requirement up until that point then if we have extra it's nice how much insight do you need to get to DLC? Uh, you don't have to have like a certain amount of insight to get into the DLC, it's just like... You know, I use a lot of it to buy items before that, so I don't know exactly the number, but... You don't you don't have a requirement for it. Uh, it's brutal, but it's a fantastic game, definitely, yeah. I, uh... I agree. Uh, will I try DS2 no hit, Daco? Yeah, that's what we're doing right after this. I'm gonna try to do any percent. Well, I guess I will. I will do any percent, but we're gonna move on to it, and we're gonna be attempting it, routing it, and stuff like that. DS2 is the hardest Souls game. Ah, uh, no, no. It's it depends on like what your system is for like classifying something as hard. It's very artificially difficult and overly done with the quantity of stuff. It's not like a legit challenge like some of this stuff. It's just there's just an excessive amount of content in it. It's 42 splits. Uh, if it was watered down, if it was half the amount of splits, then it, and it was more difficult, it still probably would be on par with this kind of stuff. It's not good. Okay, I gotta take this as a one punish. Pretty sure we didn't do plus 10 on this one. It's perfectly fine.
probably didn't even need that last pellet, but like, man, that the time frame on that because the not having the plus ten is such a. a oh, I did have plus ten. Wait, did I put wrong gems on then? Something's up right now. I have the right gems. What the fuck? Okay, something was going on with that then. That's really creepy. What's what's what are my level? Oh, I, maybe I didn't level. No, I did level. What? Okay, that was a really weird fight then. I felt like it wasn't... Okay. I am so confused, man. I should have been hitting way more damage on that. Maybe my... Um, the RNG was not as good. My meter wasn't as high most of the time. I noticed I wasn't hitting over a thousand most of the punishes because it would there'd be like bad RNG in between. But that... Okay, apparently everything was fine on that and I didn't make a mistake with the, the upgrades. Alright, GG. Let's continue. NP, it's going pretty good so far, man. How are you? What's up? I wasted so many materials on that, though, that I probably shouldn't even have done. How do you not get her to do the clone, Yeo? You have to cancel it by uh, iframing twice to the side um, on the startup of the attack. So you can, you can essentially, like, dodge it, but uh, it's very particular on how you do it. Alright, we're gonna go for... Uh, I'm gonna get one elixir, but I need more of these right now. Definitely, like we we spent so much of those. Smirker lurker, welcome back. How have you been? Aces Charles with the failure of the emote. Failure to emote right now. Be cool if you had an insane amount of insight and you could actually see Wet Nurse and Murgo. Isn't Murgo the baby, or is that? Am I incorrect with that? Uh, I assumed Murgo was the baby. But yeah, that would be interesting, though. Would that be pretty cool? Alright. So, elixirs, uh, sedatives, and we're going. Juzo, what does PB two hits mean? Uh, it means my personal best is two hits taken on this run. I think it says that on the info command, though. If you use info, it should say. It should say, like, uh, two hits taken, like an explanation of that. Anyways, welcome. What's going on, man? Bassett, welcome back. Fart money is gas coin, yeah. <laughs> that is the uh, the gas coin split. Ah. Uh... Murgo is the baby. Okay, I'm right then. I had a feeling I was wrong with that because I'm not the best at lore, but I'm pretty sure. I was, I was almost certain that the baby was Murgo. Uh, Scion, welcome back. Hopefully you're having a good weekend, dude. Or a good rest of your, your Sunday. Okay, charged R2. Oh, I did a regular one by accident. Apparently regular R2 still kills him. Okay, that's good to know. I think I could probably get, just do the charged R2 in case, and for the theatrics, but... But yeah. I uh, let go of that one a little bit too early. Rudo, this game doesn't have lore. No, it doesn't. It's all just made up. It's just for people to feel better about buying something that has no story. Obviously. You got the second one. That's what matters, man. If you get it within the second try, you know, every, everyone gets a second chance. But if you make one more mistake after that, nope. It's over. It's over, man. You may not fail emotes three times over here. <laughs> yeah. Mew the gamer, what's up? Good day, sir. How's it going, you? Pretty slow on that. I shouldn't even lock on, to be honest. I've had a bad habit of doing that super slow. And uh, there's no there's no excuse for any of that. That's just terrible. I was risking it right there, just doing it that slow. And locking on's not smart on that either. So. Silly me.
I'm back, Peach boys. Squill Peach, Squill Peach, Squill Peach. <laughs> this is a Roz Moon. Thank you for the, the sub, man. You gotta remind me if that's a resub or not, dude. I don't remember. I feel like you might have been sub before, but I know you were here a lot, and I it's been a while, so... You must refresh my mind. Um, do you ever have dreams about Souls games, honestly? I have before, but like very, very infrequently, man. I've had like three in my entire life. Never won about Bloodborne yet. So. My dreams are usually about actual shit, but they're just really, really weird situations. Um, hit from the swamp, GG, Solid Snake. <laughs> Do Souls games ever dream about you? Good question, maybe. Best place in the entire game, no cap. I do like Frontier, it's a nice design. That used to be like the number one place to uh, PvP as well. Carrying it, one fire, two, two, and then one of these. Everyone gives Erasmus some uh, sub hype, by the way. So dangerous. That's the all. That's all you got when you fuck up the uh, the strats, man. You got. You only got a backup plan. We got good backup plan RNG, but even then, still made a mistake. Had to uh, guarantee all the extended hits with land. I'm just bad. I'm just fucking bad. That's it. I'm not even gonna worry about it though because um, it worked. So whatever. But I'll I'll address that later. I'm I'm apparently like inconsistent to a degree with that that fight. I was too careless with my setup on it, unfortunately. That wasn't a hit. What happened there, Solid Snake? Uh, poison doesn't count as a hit if it's occurring from water, man. Otherwise, I wouldn't just freely run through the water. It's the the water is not an enemy, so it's not an attack. You dream games ever souls about you? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Dibs, you're going back to sleep. Wake you up if something interesting happens. All right. Wake Dibs up when world record ends. Da 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 da. Memes have come and passed. The pig just got stabbed in its ass. Wake Dibs up. When the PB ends, dun 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 dun. Yeah, this isn't a no damage run. Yeah, no damage runs in this are impossible on NG. They're not possible to do from the beginning. Next best thing, unless you want to be super super uh, SJW about the the blood bullets. Best parody ever. <laughs> Favorite DS or Bloodborne game, you? Uh, this is my favorite game. This is just my favorite game in general. How about you? Bars. <laughs> By the way, Vandal, welcome back. What's up, man? Uh, good luck, Slay. Thanks, man. Drago Tommy, welcome back, by the way. Metalhead, what's up? Musical genius. Talking about rapping and singing, what the fuck? K-Dub, yes, that emote is the best. Wish your name was AK West. My chest beating hard even when I rest. Pest, test me. Best Mimi. May May. Don't make me fest when I lose my guest to a long-term jest. Wow. That's pretty good, man. Pretty fire, bro. Quite the bars, man. Yeah, we're on that uh, split. I think the new name for this split should just be spend all insight on elixirs and go broke or something like that. Should be called insight shortage. Be a good name for it. Because we, we got to get like 11 right here. Literally, it's like not really even a joke. 
Uh, Dion, I don't know, man. I have no idea. That depends on RNG, man. It's not just depending on me, but how the game wants to uh, respond, and if I even make it there. Good question. Oh, I still have the cord to pop, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. Should be able to level twice. I think we'll be able to get one more on the way back. Wait, do I have anything big to sell? I have the cage, but it's not enough right now. Might be behind on a level. I don't, I don't know if I am or not. Hmm, all right. Lit as fuck. Did you just say May May? I was reading the rap that way because I was trying to figure out how he's trying to rhyme meme with, with uh, the other stuff. Um, welcome back. What's up? Uh, Bears, you heard something about bars? Of art, how far in the run am I? Uh, we're more than halfway through the run at this point. In terms of time, we're more than halfway. How are you doing this out of order? Cleric was first. Uh, Husky Cleric is optional, but most people typically find him first. It's not a mandatory thing required to beat the game, though. That guy was taking way too long right there. What a sketch bag. A scary dude. Every time I throw that, I get... Okay, now I got a 1,000 instead of 500. That's so weird. I get souls every time I throw that cocktail. I don't think I get souls when I drop off there normally. Something with that dude. He either kills other people or he falls and I get, like... Echoes from, like, him, maybe? Sometimes, maybe both. How do you bypass Cleric Beast? You just run to Gascoin. Start off with Gas. Gascoin's the first fight of the game. Uh, Lincoln Dell, what's up? Yeah, his. After you go to Cleric, like it's like a dead end in a lamp. That's it. Get a, I think you get a badge for it, maybe. The blood echoes are from the tra oh the trap swings okay. So he activates the trap when he goes over there. You think? It's a good idea. Uh, you watched Hobbs since he was shitty channel and Faraz as well since he had like two thirds of the follows. Now when I start watching you as well, I realize I missed all the streams in which they actually did the no hit run. Um, who are you, wait, who are you talking about, Satan? Like, the other runs? Uh, M. Poo, how's your day going, man? What's up? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, DJ Ness, welcome back. Thank you for the good luck. I definitely need all of it. I don't think that's ever going to change. Pillow Fluff, what's going on, man? First time here, seemed like a good person. I wouldn't be so trusting, dude. I would I would tread with caution just in case. You never know when something spooky is gonna happen. You never know, man. Could be some danger around the corner. Ooh. Watch out. Better watch out. I'm completely kidding with you, but you never know. You never know. Saying that all the no hit runs that uh, they managed to do successfully, you missed them when they did it live. Uh Faraz and Hob are you talking about? I'm, I'm still kind of confused, because, like, are you talking about all of us? Or, or like, who specifically is, is, is them? Can confirm probably good person. Probably is not serial killer. Probably will not get you prison time. Probably will not smash windows and uh, run away. Probably will not physically inflict wounds upon you. Unless I have to. Probably not still. Watch me every day in the one day I did it, you missed it. Oh, okay. So you mean like you just missed all the runs when they happen. That's that's the case for a lot of people, dude. Even if you're here quite frequently, you can't guarantee. Like, it's just a random chance you're going to be here when I do a run. Just as r random as, like, the run could be many good attempts, but it's never going to be all the good attempts, you know? 
Are you talking about my brother Probeeb? Who's Probeeb? Remember the, remembers the time you learned to type in color. <laughs> I remember before. Everything was black and white. Then. On the horizon. The end of the tunnel. There was hope. I could see it. There was color. And so I typed in color and everything changed. Everything changed. <laughs> it's important to support the practice runs too. Hey, I appreciate people that like to see the runs that aren't successful. But I think there's that understanding. There's no way to just do a run with the snap of your fingers. Otherwise, what would be the, the joy of it? You wouldn't really be learning. You'd just be that good. And this game will not allow you to be that good. It's never going to be the case. Some people can feel and hear color. I would love to hear color. That'd be pretty nice. I wonder what uh, the color blue would say. A lifelong quest to figure out what the color blue would say. All right, so Menzis cage. We're gonna sell these. I'm gonna leave the one that's 20 echoes just to remind itself of how insignificant it is in my items, make it feel inadequate, and then we're ready to go. I think I'm gonna spend this last insight on uh, an extra one of these guys. I usually have six by this point, but I think I've spent insight on something else. I think it was because of wet nurse using uh, an extra pellet and uh, the paper. I'll fix that. And then look at this. We got the bonfire or the the lamp, the proper lamp. It's a miracle. Been watching the stream for almost two mo two years. Never witnessed a successful challenge. Only PBs and stuff. Glorious. That's a lie, man. You must have seen challenges we've done before this run. Or before no hits. Can you hear color when it's dark? Probably. Color still exists when there's no light, but you just can't see them. Soul of the lost uh, Rasta, what's up? Let strength be Zeus with the seven the months. Might be mended. Wham balam. Be be blam. <laughs> Wham Bablum, the proper lamp. Wham Bablum. <laughs> Get out of here, TTS lady. Oh, God. That little part right there. Hey, Zeus, here's Toast with the seven month resubscription. Thanks, man. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Thanks for the seven months, Zeus. I gave you a certified welcome. Fit only for a god. Um, if you guys don't know Jesus, here's Toast. Go give him a follow. He's one of the best players on this game ever. He's really, really good at speed runs. And he does no hit runs as well. He's the first person in the world to uh, no hit any percent with our rules on documentation. So he is a professional. He's actually better at this than me. He'll tell you a lot of stories that are scary. I can only scare people so much. I've only seen so many things. He's, he's seen the scariest of the scariest on this game. How's your day going, man? What's up? Saw me get all boss no DLC, but you missed Faraz's nice slay. I guess that's the benefit of more than one person doing the run as well. Like, it's less it's not likely that more than one person would even try something like this, but I mean the fact that there is makes it easier for people that want to catch a run in general. You have twice the chance, and then you also have more chances depending on what the next run is. So like Again, if you don't see this run, there's a chance you can still see DS2. If you don't see DS2, there's going to be other things to do in the future that are unique on other games, or maybe on Soulsborne, just like meme runs and stuff that you see, or, uh, you know, whatever the case. Or maybe other, there's still probably going to be other people that have gotten, you know, into the runs later that are still doing them, and you can see them do it. It's established enough now that you have a decent chance compared to uh, previously. I think that's the most important part. That was a pretty good spot right there. Yeah, I know the color reflecting light. I'm just saying the color still exists. You just can't see it if it's dark. I'm just saying, like, if there was a color, let's say there was, like, a fabric that was a color and it was dark, that color would still be present with 
in the in the uh, presence of light, but you can't see it until that light is back. That's what I mean. Like it's still there. It still exists. It's not like it doesn't exist at all. It's not like it, it just uh, you know like someone that designs something that's a certain color, you know, with the intention it will reflect light and produce this color. It's not going to ever change the how it reflects light next time it reflects light. It's still going to be the same. That's, that's what I mean. The object itself still retains those values that allow it to reflect that color. It's not going to randomly be like red from being blue because you turn the light off once. Anyway, I probably should pay attention. Probably pay attention. Better stamina management on this part too. Aatrox, that's uh, that's really bad. I take no responsibility in the process of that. Memes are greater than paying attention. Ah, I've learned that lesson many times the hard way. Unless it glows in the dark. If it glue, if it, did I say glue? If it glowed in the dark, it would still be the same color though. Um, it would just be vibrant, you know. It would be probably like in in a way you could say neon or something. It'd still be the same color. Have more vibrancy. It would speak to you. As if the color is alive. Ah, uh, Bacon, welcome back. How have you been, man? Good to see you again. Maybe when it's dark, everything is shiny purple. Yo, maybe when it's dark, leprechauns exist. You just can't see them because they're everywhere you don't look. Oh, oh. All right. Getting out of here. How'd you ever go to sleep with the color noise blaring 24-7? True. Very true. Uh, several Bakuras. I'm new here. If he gets hit, does he have to start over again? We're trying to beat a PB of two, so... Um, ultimately... It all depends on how many hits I take and how early in the run, because I think that uh, because we haven't been working on this category that long, only over a week now, we, we've been ma ma mainly doing no reset runs, so I'll probably do a no reset run on this if it goes well, and then we'll do another run after this, and then maybe another one after that, but I want to do one no reset run a day um, until I feel very confident, very consistent, no hitting the DLC most of the time. Um, but yeah, when it gets down to like you know, where I'm ready to, like, just go full-on on it, I'll probably reset every time. In the, and I probably won't do no reset runs. If I feel like in practice I no-hit the DLC nine times out of ten, then I will have no reason to do uh, no reset runs. It won't benefit me at all, really. Like, maybe a bit, but not nearly as much. Okay, we can't really do much here. Actually, I'm going to pop both of these really quickly. We're just going to get the elixirs ahead of time. Seven seems pretty good. And then can we level again? Let's see. I think we're stuck at 46. Yeah, 46 is good though. 46 is what I want. You agree to disagree, color is direct product of frequency of light, no light, no photon, no color. I'm just arguing the fact that an object that is meant to be a certain color in the presence of light would not change what it reflects as a color 
once the light has been uh, administered again in the situation. Like, if you brought light back in the situation after it being in dark, it would not change. It's not dynamic. It's always going to be the same thing. Unless it's some sort of fucking weird kind of science experiment with a bunch of creepy shit going on. Like, that ball that is orange will remain orange the next time you see it. Reflecting color. It will not reflect a different color. Fluffy Keldo, what's going on, man? You and your summit. God damn it. That emote's really funny, though. I might actually sub to the dude for the first time ever. Just to get that. It's a pretty good one. Uh, Zimply, what's up? One chinchilla. Tolo's rat emote's adorable. I like the one with the, the wizard hat. That is my favorite. There's some good combos with that one. Alright, this should be late enough. <laughs> Where'd you get that from the freezer? That's a lot of ice, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a sketchy witch right there. Um, how's it going? I ain't dank runs him. This is the first run of the day. Uh, believe it or not. So, going pretty good. Alright, wait, let's... Just want to make sure I'm on the right split. Alright, we're going up for Cathedral. No blue man group tunes this time. That was a really, really, uh, really testy witches, though. Like, she was making me work for that one. It's sketchy, man. Like, you, you can easily just do something. Even whiffing the R2 that I just had, I'd have to determine, is she starting up an AoE? Do I have to, like, space that uh, before I go for another one? Or if I go for another one, will I get interrupted and trade with her? Like, it's, it, that second one is so scary compared to the first. Two-hit witch fight looks satisfying. It's satisfying, yeah, but... If it was any harder than that, I think witches would actually get a lot of hits on us. Um, like, if they had to reappear in a different spot and then it was all randomized, I think it would become quite a bit of a, a task. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna get the the rune quickly. We're a blue man group. Oh, it's just like the blue man group split, and then I put on the song sometimes called "I'm Blue" by uh, Eiffel. Got this, clear your mind, see the run, be the run. Well, we did, we had good practice earlier, but it doesn't mean anything, man. Like, we had amazing RNG on Maria. If anything, uh, the, be the best I possibly could play, vessel. I still feel like I can get outplayed by Maria. There, there's some things on that that are just beyond. So uh, like, it, so it's like a whole other skill made. cap, dude. Congrats on the all bosses. And what's next? XD. Uh, Alora Panda, thank you for the two months in a row. Continue to enjoy your emotes and your Hood of Edge. Uh, this runs next. We're doing All Boss plus DLC at the moment. Um, how many schools could a school school a school if a school could school schools? I don't know. Good question. It's a very good question. Okay. Um, I want to level it again. I want to, but I don't know if I can. I think we could possibly squeeze one more, maybe. Yeah, we got one more. 47, not bad. 
It's after this challenge, solid. We're going for uh, DS2 no hits after that, any percent. Uh, then after that, it'll be an assortment of memes, potentially Absolver. Uh, I have a surprise idea that I'm not talking about yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to be going with it. And then uh, Blasphemous, whenever it releases, will be a first playthrough, Shadow of the Colossus first playthrough. And potential speedruns on those if they are good, if they're replayable and stuff, I feel like it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's also just like not even worth mentioning, but just ideas I've had for a long time. That I'm pretty excited to try. Um, but we're pretty much like filled up for like the rest of the year until there's like other stuff that's new. Like Shadow of the Colossus, I think, is early next year, so we should be fine until then. And then after that, FromSoft will probably have at least one of their three things out, which I'm obviously going to be playing, even if it's something weird, I'm sure I'll play it. And there's going to be a lot of other things that are announced too. So. Uh, P Clone, what's up? How's it going? You did DLC first. Uh, I haven't no, I haven't done DLC in this run yet. We're going to be doing DLC after. Once I actually get there. Although I should spend this inside though. Almost went there without spending the inside. I need more. I think we have the runes. Yeah, okay. Upper Cathedral time. Kazakis, welcome back. What about... Demkin? What's Demkin? Are you talking about Demon Souls? Demon Souls, if it gets remade, I'll no-hit that. But if it uh, doesn't get remade, I don't have interest in playing it other than casual stuff. Uh, Monty, Shadow of the Colossus, you'll enjoy. Could definitely see you putting a lot of time into it and mastering it thoroughly. Yeah, like, Shadow of the Colossus would be good to no-hit. Or not no-hit, uh, good to be... It would be good to speedrun, from what I've already seen of the speedruns of it. Like, Lobos and Distortion did speedruns of it. Um, but... I don't know, it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, the thing that I replay. I, I definitely want to do one playthrough of it, though. Like, it's gonna happen. I've never even tried it, but it looks really nice. I've wanted to play it for, like, since even before I streamed, like, for a long, long time. But, uh, it was on PS2, and then they made the remake on PS3, I think, when I already had a channel, but I didn't want to stream it because the setup was so weird. So, this is a decent opportunity to play it. Okay. I have a decent idea for this split right here that I want to try. I've already tried it before, it should be fine, but I think it's a bit better of a strat. Played that safe. He did the counter step into the pillar, which is really risky. I played that very safe. That's good. That's when you get Miyazaki buttons and you, you counter it. Uh, Zimply, thank you for the sub, man. Thank you very much for the first time in your feeble cursed life, Zimply. You have discovered the secret circle of the Squilluminati. Using the power of dank memes, extremes, and edginess, I grant you your remotes and your hood of edge, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Also, um, yeah, give give Zim some sub hype. Also, welcome Lev. It's going, dude. So, yeah, I did the strap properly, but he counterstepped the uh, the second swing, unfortunately. So this is gonna be kind of weird. I mean, it's the same shit, but like I just gotta make sure I don't get clipped as I'm rounding them up. A little bit different of a formation, I think. Yeah, if his back's facing like the middle of a pillar, there's just no way you're going to be able to do the strat. It's impossible. You'd get screwed. I've never even had that happen before, but it was just very, very particular.
Here we go. So he would either die in one hit there, but he had like a baby amount of damage left, which means that I'd had to do another R1, but the R1's confirmed to work, so I don't have to L1 anymore. Um, you just gotta make sure your meter burns down enough so the second R1 on a counter backstep doesn't go halfway, or close to halfway, so phase two would be confirmed. And then you're fine, but um, I can't dictate that though. There's no way to tell he's gonna do that before he does. He would instantly just get it as you swing. So that's why I had to fix the first one. Anyone coming in with Love Stream, by the way, welcome. Uh, thank you very much. How did your runs go, Love? Did you make it back to uh, Prince's? Appreciate you bringing all the, the hype over here. Anyone coming from Love Stream, welcome. Doing a similar kind of thing, but it's not a speed run. Uh, but we're trying to do All Boss Plus DLC on this. Soul of the Lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let's trench the ground so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Good luck down at Geno's World Beach. had bad big tentacle RNG on the first part there, but I know that there's like an alternate kind of like timing that I think of when I get pushed in the beginning. It's basically instantly after you recover right back to the reference on the floor, but um, that throws me off though. It, you have to, like the way you think of that when you do the startup of it to be able to not like, I guess sandbag on it or like noodle on the first arm where you don't get the health bar. Um, you have to think of a different timing from when you get pushed if you get pushed versus not getting pushed. But, yeah, that's very unlucky that she would even push me in the first place, but at least we got it. It's good. Alright, Loki G time, let's go. How is a Brutus Macaroni? The, uh, the little tubes on her face look like Macaroni, man. Same color as well. Uh, Lev, thank you for the three months in a row. Continue to enjoy your emotes and your hood of edge, dude. Getting that bronze, though. Even though I think you've subbed more than three times in total, everyone give Lev some, some of the sub hype. Died to Aldrich twice, got rusty, you need to practice on him. It could just be coincidental, man. Sometimes I have stuff like that, too. Like, I got hit four times on Emmy Dull and flawless all of all bosses without DLC. Sort of recently. And this, like, I mean, it was just tilt, man. So you might get tilted from it, but I wouldn't think about it too much, though. I think you're fine. I've seen you kill Aldrich many times. It's been quite, quite the, uh, the display of greatness. Actually, the stuff you do on that run, some of the strats you do on that run are scary. Like, in my opinion, I wouldn't even trust it. Like, it, it, they're so aggressive, like, especially Slayer. Watching that when you play that is, is, like, the craziest shit ever, man. It actually frightens me. Uh, which boss is the girl with the sword that moves super fast to Poyos? You're probably thinking of Maria. If you're talking about this game. Elvenid, welcome back. What's up, man? It's oxiding, what's up? Well done with your Twitter and chat. Hope all the best games you can play on your phone. What happened? Plunder, what's going on? Ludwig, best waifu. <laughs> uh, Spawner, the things on her face are like, kind of like beige, man. Just look, you can even look at like concept art, or you can look at the uh, actual fight. I mean, maybe it looks different depending on the lighting, but it's the same color. It's the exact same. It looks identical. It looks like pasta, man. I feel like that's not even something you can argue. It looks exactly the same. But, but. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe I'm wrong. And all the uh, political correctness in the entire universe will not fix that. Okay. I think we're good. We can go to Logarius. Let's do it. Potato chip, what's up? Why do you kill the doll? Uh, saves a little bit of time. So, if you think of every reset I'm going to have to do, and all the runs, and the time of the runs, the amount of visits I have will be cut down by at least a minute or more. Um, throughout the entire run at the end, I'll save some good time because of doing that. Which, I mean, is it's not required, but it just, it's... I'm pretty impatient, so I'd rather just rush through it and not have to listen to the dialogue. This is the run. 
also um it cuts down on the chances of you getting like a gesture where you sit down in front of her and then still have to listen to the dialogue that's very very good uh atreus thank you for the bits man this is the run <laughs> don't say that don't be saying that man you know you know what's good with with the whole run thing don't say that political correctness yeah Uh, you don't want to see your work go to waste, love? Alright, sounds good, dude. I will see you soon. Enjoy your food. This isn't a let's play, that's why I kill her, yeah. This ain't that casual percent, though. <laughs> Not on that casual percent. <clears throat> Fresh snipe, what's going on? This is not the run. You say it's to save time, but this is a no-hit run, not a speed run. Yeah, but I'm impatient, though, dude. If I can make a run faster without any effort at all, actually with less effort, then I'm going to do that. Like, if you played this run and you knew how many resets it would take to get the run, wouldn't you want to save any amount of seconds that you can? It's, it adds up to, like, a minute or more. And if it stops the chance of you doing a gesture where you sit down and it takes twice as long, you're going to save, like, two to three minutes. If every single instance you're going to do a gesture, right? Um, so it's just, it's just optimal, man. Anything that's more optimal or efficient, I will do. But, yeah. I mean, there's some things like cutscenes that I'll leave if I want to catch up on chat, but that's not always the case. This might be interesting. You're already a run killer. Uh, you being in chat kills runs. Wonder if that works on no hits. Simply, maybe. The fact you sub could even increase the strength of your powers, too. Your run killing abilities. You never know. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Fiverr boss man, loving the Bloodborne runs. <laughs> uh, Polly, thank you for the five months in a row, man. Continue to enjoy your remotes in your hood of edge. Everyone give Polly some sub hype. And I am glad that you're enjoying them. It's it's really nice, actually. I'm glad. Like, I didn't think that people would like Bloodborne as much as they do. And I, I know it's less popular. It'll never be as popular as DS3. But that's because of its relevance and it's older. But that's uh, it's really cool that you like it. That makes me pretty happy. I remember the time where streaming this on release was, like, just not even good for the channel. Like, it was very detrimental to it. Like, I lost quite a bit of potential switching from DS2 to this on release pretty much, but I did it because I liked the game so much, and now being able to stream it for like, in some times, some cases, a hundred times the amount of people, like, that's pretty fucking crazy. So, it was pretty good. Okay, let's see if we can do this without the blow darts. Not blow dart RNG. It's pretty easy if he gives you blow darts, but it's still sketchy though. It really sucks because I don't know what triggers it. It's very rare. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Super hype for the nine month love child Kappa. Uh, more thank you for the nine months in a row. You gotta tell me what the sub child's name is. Continue to enjoy your remotes and your hood of edge as well. Getting close to that year though. Oh damn. I'll snap. You prefer Bloodborne streams to DS, Atreus? I personally like playing it more than, than I think I can make it more interesting than regular DS3, but DS3 is super mainstream. Like even right now it's still like the most popular because it's newer. And it attracted so many people to play it that haven't played the other ones as well, so obviously you're gonna be more successful streaming that but it's just really cool that you guys like this enough or it's still pretty uh still pretty good strange you have an internet you have internet for a bit today what, what's wrong with it is it like not working uh tough one thank you for the host by the way i did see that get a ps4 soon you're gonna get it also nice well i hope you enjoy it when you get it Willem is here. Master Willem. I don't say hello to you anymore, food exam. I thought I said hi to you. The name of the love child is dot 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 times 5,000 dots. Lex. Alright, Lex. Perfect. Sounds good. 
I almost walked into this fight with bolt paper. Wow, that's bad. That's pretty bad. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. You're on vacation? Okay, did you tell me where you went on vacation? I don't know if you mentioned that or not. Gotta remember to get the uh, the insight from Annalise as well. Or not Annalise. What's the fuck? What's the name of the? No, wait. That is the name of the NPC. That is the name of the NPC. I guess we can just call it getting the the insight from the door. So you only have to walk to the door, I believe. Maybe you have to go up these stairs too. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, you only get two of them, though. You don't get three. I was told you get three. Well, at least two is enough for an extra elixir. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Anal ease? Oh, God. I uh, never thought you'd love a game as much as you like The Last of Us. Last of Us is very, very good. Very, very good. Probably end up getting your PC within mid-August. You finally have enough money to be stable when buying it. Nice, man. That's pretty cool. That you're gonna get all this stuff out once. Logarius equals Logos Jr. Logos Jr. <laughs> Lober Loberius. Loberius Jr. Okay, we need four of these. That's perfect. Uh, spending all my insight now. I should really only need one fire paper for now. I already have one, so I'll, I'll save that. Gonna get uh, one more elixir to be super, super safe. That's a better idea. Get the 50 30. Sell the crown now, actually get 51 or 31. I think, uh, I, I believe I went to 32 before. Maybe I can get 32 with the cold blood. If we can get 32, then, then I think Ludwig's a bit easier with 32. That's good. Alright. Let's get over there. Sean Bear, what's up, man? Welcome back. Arter lo lo logarithms, lo logarithms. <laughs> Arter logarithms. Leftwig. I call him Ludwig. Should do a chill until dawn stream after this is over, Atrox. I'm not into until dawn, man. I've already seen the entire game before. I've watched people play it multiple times. Pretty cool, but uh, it's not my kind of thing. I like survival horror and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty impressive, though, with the detail they put into it. I said once I got this run, we'd stream an hour of Quap, though, if you like Quap. <laughs> also, Kemi, welcome back. What's up? You win a raffle, I should name the character Laxamore? Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe, just maybe. Well, okay, if you win the raffle and that's your request, I'll remember it. Uh, Ninja coming in here with the sub baby as well. We got two sub baby, or maybe three today. The three sub babies today. Thank you very much, C R L P D Ninja. Just subscribe with the 4.99 sub, the nine month resubscription. Thanks, man. You gotta tell me what your name is though for the child, because I think we both know that I did not come up with uh, 
the name yet, so you gotta help me out a bit. Have I ever played Heavy Rain? No. I never played Heavy Rain. I had a friend that played it and he said that uh, it was pretty good. And then I just kind of lost interest in trying it after a while. I've seen gameplay of it uh, on like streamed and stuff like that as well. Like, way later, I think they did a remaster of it, like the original one. Alright, gonna probably not read chat as much right now, so if I miss stuff, I'll try to catch up with it uh, when we have safe spots, but I'm gonna try to be focused for this. If possible. Oxiding, what's going on? Can you get webcam? No. I don't stream with one, man. If you don't like it, that's cool. You don't have to watch, but uh, it's not our style, dude. We go with that immersion. I probably will uh, for like certain things, like a controller cam once in a while, or depending on if I'm using like a weird controller, but uh, it's not really my thing, man. We just do the gameplay and the commentary. Being focused. Uh, doesn't reach chat. That doesn't mean we can't talk shit behind his back. Oh, I caught you there. I caught you, man. Aha! Not even interested in grabbing those vials because I know that it can get sketchy. Guys, AoE is ridiculous. I've, I've seen it hit all the way up to where like the radius of the, the blood vials are through the staircase and the beam.
Uh, Sammy, welcome back. What's up, dude? <laughs> what is this? Uh, Lion's next meal. Hello. Catharsis, welcome back. Uh, go to sleep, dude. If you only have five hours of sleep potential left, get to bed, man. You can always check the VOD or watch tomorrow or the next day or whatever. Royale, welcome back. What's up? Kind of iffy RNG, but not bad. Good RNG second phase, bad RNG first phase. Let's see, it's like a medium, medium fight, medium Ludwig. Tough one to have a YouTube channel. It should be in the chat under a command. Uh, Aori, what's up? How's it going? Didn't even hear the music for Love We Got. No, it's the best part, isn't it? I'm sorry about that. Hey, give me these. What are you doing? What are you doing? Talk to the dude that survived log? I already did. I uh, I did talk to him, man. He just laughs really creepily. Creepishly. I don't know what the right word would be. He laughs like a creep. That's what he does. We've done that before. You can impose and ask to turn up the music volume in game after all the music in the game is good. I'd have to fix the audio mix though for everything for me, so I don't know if I'd want to do that just right now. But, um. I can try to like rebalance everything next time I do stuff. Let's see. I like how they just go windmill arms and then fall fucking like 700 feet. This place is so fucking funny, man. Oh my god. I love the I love the dudes with the bloated heads even though they suck. Like they're probably my favorite basic enemy. Not even the ones with the, the IVs, the stands, but like literally the ones with just their bare hands are so funny. Like that's the funniest looking shit ever. They just like swing at the dude on the ledge and they fall off. Amazing. Uh, P plays, what's up? How's it going? No runs the run towards the run. This is also pretty early on in our practice for this category, so can't really make those statements just yet. Maybe after some more consistency. Uh, we're gonna have to make a trip back to get more hunters marks. I gotta buy another hunters mark before we go to the DLC every time. 
Forgot about that from last time, so we're gonna waste a little bit of effort right here. Gonna spend some effort. Anyone ever finished a no-hit run in Bloodborne? Yep. Uh, four people have done any percent. Actually, five. Sorry, five people have done any percent. <clears throat> then t uh, two people have done all boss without DLC, and then there's two people working on all boss plus DLC at the moment. Many people have no hit any percent at this point. Got uh, Zeus was world's first, then we got, I think, Faraz was second, Quiddy was third, I was fourth, and Jax was fifth so far. And then there's a couple people that have a PB of one that are very close. Uh, Dopamine and Donnie, they're, they're very close. There'd be like a total of seven after they get it. And David Tanker, oh no, sorry, David Tanker's also working on all boss plus DLC as well. I forgot. Okay, we're gonna get the Ludwig level now, and then we'll uh, make the most use out of this trip. Then we'll do Lawrence. Thirty-five is pretty good. Wait a second. Oh no, I can get thirty-six. Uh, Brando, is it actually your birthday today, man? I was actually going to ask you, will you be able to pop in Discord later tonight or maybe like another day this week? Is there a time where you could talk in Discord about the thing coming up this weekend? Okay. Mm. I think I want at least one more of these two. And then we can get some orphan stuff. Ah. Uh. Depending on how many times I have to go back to failures, I think we should have that. Five and five. All right. Oh, and then the 100s mark. Watch me not even have enough. I think I'm short by like, yeah, 51 echoes. Sell one antidote. Has Hob done DS3 all bosses yet, criminal? I have no idea, man. No idea. Excuse me, your birthday is today. Congrats to you, Oxiding. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not just hijacking the birthday hype? Uh, Kohaku, I'm doing good, man. Doing pretty good. Gonna enter perma lurk, Kemi. All right, I'll see you later. Have a good permanent lurk. I'm gonna take these items off. It was a faster fall that I got right there, but the uh, the placement of where I wanted to go, it's still really tricky to get that initial thing exactly where I want to land. I just got a gun for it, I think. I think I have to like rebound off the statue's face, slide off the statue's face into the spot that I roll, and then I'll always have the perfect roll in the beginning. I'm just so worried about landing on the statue's head and then not being able to roll recover because it's on the corner of it, and then I slip off. <clears throat> or dying because the fall damage calculated from that, so I always like have a weird start with that. There's only been a few times I've done that skip really, really well. Uh, Snakey, he hasn't gotten it yet. I think he's been pretty close, though. I think he's no-hit every, everything but the second DLC, so he's done, like, two all-boss plus DLC ones. <clears throat> Birthdays in nine days. Lion, nice, man. I will say happy birthday in nine days if you remind me. I will do it. Okay, all right, let's go. So shocked you didn't come here when you were drunk last night? Are you talking about my stream, uh, Vandal? Uh, I didn't actually stream yesterday, so you're, you're lucky. You probably would have been the only person in chat. Uh, what's the best plugin? Uh, what do you mean by best plugin? Birthdays in 64 days, King of Frogs. All right, well. Hope you, uh... Hope you have a good birthday in 64 days. <laughs> oh, man.
All right, so for Lawrence, I'm going to start off with the uh, the pellet anyways, because we've dictated it doesn't matter if you start with the pellet or not. It's the same shit. Sometimes he has this RNG that lets him buff sooner, sometimes later. So it it's not the it's not the factor that dictates that. But I can get some awesome, some pretty good damage in the beginning if I want to. Are the splits corrupted? Did I not split them properly? Oh, I didn't. There we go. Riddling winner, what's going on? Uh, watched your DS3 zero hit run. Nice, man. Was it the one with both DLCs? Anybody that's checked those out on YouTube or maybe came here from that, I appreciate it. That's pretty cool. Definitely not expected, really, but that's really awesome. That's the case. Pretty decent RNG on the short swings right there. That's interesting. Never had that many short swings in a row. Although I probably could have finished him one short swing sooner if I spammed R1 with the chance that I'd probably get a cancel right at the end on the fourth. Um, and probably trade before he gets me for it, but I played it a little bit safer on that. That's good. Is Bloodborne more fun than DS3, Riddling? Oh yeah, definitely. I've it's This is my favorite game, so I've always thought it's better. Not as much potential for variety with runs, but uh, it's it's good, man. It's very good. Lit Larry destroyed. That last hit was close. P plays? Nah, I was fine. I could have swung two more times, and then I would have interrupted his next attack at the fastest attack he could do. Unless he did a cancel earlier out of that, but uh, it was it was safe. I played it safer than I could have. I could have actually killed him sooner than that. But I didn't. Actually, in two instances, I probably could have killed him really soon. I could have killed him a little bit sooner, or I could have killed him there, depending on my punishes. But uh, you risk the chance of getting this cancel that's really fast. And depending on your placement, it might be impossible to avoid. So you'd have to have the... Uh, you have to have the confidence that you'd, you'd hit him before he hit you with the cancel if it was the last attack that he had to do. Alright, I'm gonna get three fire papers for this part. I guess, I don't know if I could really even use three. But just in case. And then we're pretty, oh yeah, I gotta get the beast rune too. We're pretty good for failures. Uh, Rickhawk, welcome back. How's it going, man? 
Should ban the word surge. <laughs> talking about the surge in my chat. Did you just say talking about the surge? Oh no. Not having demons is favorite Souls game. Old school saying hi and wants to know how I'm doing more. I'm doing pretty good. Why is he saying hi through you though? Are you guys like friends or something? Uh, David, thank you for the good luck, man. But I'm sure we both know it's pretty early on in the DLC. I'm sure you'd be in the same position as me right now where it's like, whatever happens, happens. We've only had so much time to practice. It's not nearly as, uh, as much as I think we would need for it to be a good, good, good chance. But uh, I, I have improved at the DLC a bit. That's one thing that is for certain. I feel like though, no matter how good you are, there is, there's imminent Maria memes, and there's potential orphan memes depending on the hyper armor attack as well. Although I did practice, uh, I did practice Hunter's Marks on orphan earlier. And there's a potential Maria Hunter's Mark possibility, but it's not really worthwhile, I think. I found a better alternative to that as well. But there are some confirmed orphan Hunter's Marks that you can do. I just don't know if I'd actually feel up to it. I feel like I'd want it to be more epic. I don't know if that's like selfish or whatever, or like silly, but I feel like I'd want it to be more epic. It came down to it. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Wacky wavy, wacky wavy, wacky wavy. Come on, wacky wavy, man. Let's go. Let's get wacky, let's get wavy. That's regular wavy, let's get wacky wavy. Wacky wavy or I'm Hunter's Marking. Okay, you already fucked it up. Too late. That's right. His friend dictated that it's bad RNG anyways. Starting off the entire fight before the third punish, or the third spawn, I should say, uh, would not be good if there was asteroids. So that would be a guarantee. Hands down, has to be a Hunter's Mark. There's no negotiating. If it happens mid-fight, I think I could deal with it depending on the setup and the spacing, but... Um, not worth it if it's at the beginning. That's just not a good fight already. Even though he did do the, the right attack after. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing flail squad. <laughs> wacky wavy, wacky wavy inflatable flailing arm too, man. It's basically what uh, failures attacks remind me of. Swings. I should have sent this back down. Edza, why are you fail fishing, man? How about you do this run right now? I'd like to see you get this run. How about that? You and you and your teenage angst. Well, I guess technically you probably are just as old as me, but adolescent angst or young adult angst, whatever. Your fail fishes and shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me a break. That guy's throwing down like there's a mosh pit in the corner over there. That's intense, man. Oh. Like it. Make a stop off on this one to get our beast meter down. Not really a point of rushing this run. We still have plenty of time anyways, so it's not a big deal. But we are going to stop off. You're not fail fishing at you, the hunter's mark. Oh, the gesture. My bad. My bad. I forgot we decided that's the hunter's mark emote. My bad, man. I'm so sorry. I unleashed on you for no reason. That was very aggressive, and I take it back. Will you forgive me? I want a little bit more echoes right now. We don't have enough echoes to uh, level. I guess maybe that's like the standard case anyways. Uh, I'm gonna need three of these definitely. There's no, no uh, negotiating that, that's 100%. 
I'm glad I remembered too, because the new strat requires one extra elixir for uh, the next part. So that's good to, to think of. Beast meter down. Don't you want to keep it up? McCreefy? Well, no, 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 no. I mean, like, I want to keep my insight low so the beast meter scales faster. That's what I want to do. The less insight you have, the faster the bar goes up. Just by, like, a fraction, but it's it's significant enough. Where on this run, I'm not going to risk anything. It could be the difference of, like, a tiny bit of damage, right? It's, it's definitely well worth it. It gets me ready for the next part. Lashing out at people like that, you know what? Galefish and Resident Sleeper is the only way Edza can show love in a in a bro way. <laughs> That's so. Is this the truth? Oh man, the stretches are getting me right now. The stretches, alright. We're gonna have to Hunter's Mark, or not Hunter's Mark. We have to bolt paper before we even start this for time reasons, but uh, other than that, I think we're good to go. That was sick, dude. That was so sick. Such bad RNG, but it's so sick. Such bad RNG, but it's so quick. Flick of the wrist. It's done quick. GG. God damn it. I got I get so hyped when that fight goes well and it's bad. My god. Those were some of the some of the secret strats. Some of that uh wait for long range L1 uh spam into phase two backup plan, just in case the timer is bad. Actually worked, so that's good. Although, one small detail you can't do, you can't do an R1 in any of those attacks if she does the long range uh, full form Rakuyo because she'll interrupt you on the second of punish, so that's sick, man. That was clench, man. That was clench. All right, let's go. Oh! I can see clearly now, but there's still rain over here. <laughs> My god. All right, we're going to just breeze through this place, hopefully. Uh, because I don't want to make a stop yet. We're going to have to make a stop before Orphan. I don't feel confident enough where I want to redo the entire area if I make it over there. So we're going to we're gonna get the shortcut for it. I don't think 8 insight makes a difference on this part. I think it's fine.
Okay, let's get some stuff. Faraz, what's up, man? Good luck, fat pr princess. Ain't no bitch. All right, I deserve that. I definitely deserve that. Uh, if you guys don't follow Faraz, I'm sure you know what to do. Definitely give him a follow. One of my uh, favorite streamers, favorite people. You'll also catch him doing this run as well. Highly recommend you check out his uh, his run. You might see some different strats. You might see some scary things. You might hear that Fat Princess is not a bitch. All of the above is guaranteed. We have no extra cold bloods. We're just going to roll in there. Let's do it. Uh, Rob to the lobster. I haven't seen you forever, man. I didn't know you were still subbed. The what? Thank you for the 17 months in a row, dude. Continue to enjoy your emotes and your hood of edge. Thank you for using your prime here. The coolest sea creature that I know. Other than 3D salmon, of course. You're amongst the greatest sea creatures to ever live. We're, we're taking you to the beach right now anyways. Hopefully you can help me out on this one. Let me go see if we can summon Ocean Man for this. What, what one of your B favorites? Dude, I'm trying to regulate breathing and focus right now. Don't even try to start stuff with me, man. Don't even try to start. Uh, Stephen Hawk, welcome back. What's going on? Uh, you've been traveling, but you love to lurk when you have the time. Okay, I see. I appreciate it, man. It's cool of you. Leg and welcome back. Trev Trevor Ferguson, what's up? Break the wall of fossils and go straight to the fall part. Uh, Edson, wait, what? What are you talking about? Slew, what's going on? How are you? A-list, Quay got back. Get back to the workshop. Stop pretending to shit. Wait, are you, are, are Quay, is Quayleg and then are you guys at work right now? Watching this? Uh, Nimmerline, what's going on, dude? Stop reading chat. Alright. Stop. Good point. Yeah, what's with this bolt paper on my, uh, slots? All right, GG, GG, pretty solid.
<laughs> the chokes, yeah, the one whiff rate. It's just all about the initial setup position, man. Uh, cause you're swinging your, your feet, your feet are moving as you're swinging, so it's about the initial setup. Okay, I think we're gonna sell the Parasite. Ah, I wanna go 40-50 on this, I think. 40 50 safe. I'm just trying to think of like how many items I want and stuff. Uh, sign up, what's going on? How are you? Need to pray, hip hop god? That would probably be a good idea right about now. Uh, Lion's so calm. Eh, I mean, I'm not super, super calm. I'm, a <coughs> excuse me, I'm a little bit uh, on edge uh, compared to normal. I'm also thirsty as fuck. I'm really thirsty. Do I sound thirsty? I am fucking thirsty. Uh, I'm gonna drink some water quickly. We're gonna do that. Got to. Okay, I feel better. We're good. Now I'm not thirsty anymore. But I gotta take a bathroom break after this. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go for no elixirs. We're just gonna get the pellets, of course. Now we can get a shit ton of items. So I can go 10 and 10. Last two, I'm going to just get extra. There's no way I'm going to be able to use all that, but I need the insight to be zero, right? Absolutely no way. Uh, but it's worth it either way. Yeah, so we got 40, 31,000 left is enough for items. And I probably want to get some Hunter's Marks too. I'm just going to grab some like manual ones. Small guys. Some knives. Oh, I actually need a lot of bullets, too. I forgot about that. Damn. Okay, we'll get, like, 15. And that should be good. I can spend the rest on Bone Marrow Ash. It probably won't even get used, to be honest. It rarely ever does, but it's a thing. Alright, G-Daddy Thick time. Let's go.
baby damage, get fucked. See you later, world's first all boss plus DLC, no hits. Fuck you, Alan. Number two, number two, get fucked. All right, we're done. First run lol cap is squill meme. <sighs> this water tastes so good right now. And it probably shouldn't. It's very warm. My god. The undisputed champion of B-L-O-O-D-B-O-R-N-E. <sighs> oh man. I feel fucking thrilled, man. That's ridiculous. That's the best run. That's the fucking best run. It's better than DS3. By a little bit, but it's it's fucking it's the best run. That's the best run. Feels amazing, man. Best run ever. Oh, the God. Of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Hey, well, thank you for the sub, man. Oh, so the, the game is officially your bitch. A little bit more than it was before. Yeah, definitely. So definitely, man. Pug my chair. God. My God, dude. Congrats, Holy Squilla. Shit. Proud of you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Well done. Brother. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. <clears throat> wait a second. Everybody's being crazy right now. I'm gonna take a second to thank everybody after credits. I promise. Um, we're gonna play Quap for an hour, like I promised. Unless you guys want to see like a limited hit NG plus, but that'd be kind of silly though. What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want to see? We can make a straw pool. Cause I, I could do Quap tomorrow. That's fine. God damn it. Dude, my, br my brain hurts right now. Holy shit. I'm gonna tune down the uh, levels on the uh, Ogato for a second. Uh, thank you guys for all the, the support. Fucking crazy. And, and thank you for sticking through all those runs. That was Bloodborne. We, we, cleaned, out, we cleaned it up. We cleaned it up. Everything is done. The final frontier, man. Hello YouTube. One um, more month to the next hood. Congrats on the run. Much my, love, brother. My god. Bangle, you're crazy, dude. You're crazy. Holy shit, stay Congrats, plus, you man. fucking monster. You deserve what are you all doing? the love. You worked your ass off for this. This is a bagged milk stream. Of course he took your, your opportunity to advertise there. I see. Congrats, Squilla. Slashy see. souls no hit? <laughs> my god. My god. You Alan got crazy. fucked so hard right there. Oh my god. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for all the love. I don't deserve this kind of love. This is ridiculous. You guys gotta give yourself pats on the back for supporting Ooh, my channel, man. Seriously. Drawn from its vessel. Seriously, Earth you guys deserve a big, a big, so uh... Might be mended. I don't know, I guess a big kiss. So a big kiss on the mended. face with big lips that Rarest swallow will. your entire head, you know? You, so you, des you deserve a kiss by a giant. From its vessel. And a hug that crushes Let your body. It's so loving. So the world might be mended. I can't even, like, I can't even see straight right now. My fucking head hurts from this. My god, dude. I'm, like, fuzzy. <laughs> I wasn't breathing a lot at the end. I was not breathing as much as I should have. And Froz is making fun of me, like, Hey, you didn't say, you didn't say this properly. I, I will admit on record right now, Faraz Khan... Holder of DS3's world first no hit any percent and many other various no hit runs, including world second all boss DS3 and many Bloodborne wow, achievements. DF. You are correct. Fat Fat Princess is not a bitch. I admitted it. That's it. No more discussion of the the sword at all. We're just done. Fat Princess is not a bitch. Oh God, uh, you won the bet, man. Good job. Ludwig is still memeing you, Mythic. I'm sorry, dude. Maybe maybe I kind of angered him a little bit more. GG Squilla. Fat Princess next. Uh, Hacks, no, nah, dude, we're gonna still play. Like, for example, for the rest of the stream, we could do a gun only run now, or a fist. We should do fists only. I feel like fists only right now. Let's do a fists only run. Let's free ourselves from the shackles or resets for a moment until we get back into DS2, just for a tiny bit. Would you, would you guys think that fists only is a good idea right now? Should we do that? DS2 all boss. Fuck that, man. I think fists only would be cool, cause gun only can come whenever, but. I feel like fists only would be easier to understand right off the bat. Um, chalice bosses. 
I, the only thing I can think of that'd be pretty hard fist only is Amelia, but GG Fat I think we can Princess do it. is not a bitch. God, Atreus, thank you for the the bits as well. Okay, I'm gonna just read back all the thank yous very quick. Give me a second. My God, okay. Um, shit. All right. Oh, uh, we got. Laron, thank you for the host, by the way, dude, as well. I appreciate you dropping that host, man. Uh, Black Dog Blue, 150 bits. Congrats. Proud of you, buddy. Uh, Army, 1,000. Well done, brother. Uh, Big Puma, 500. Rip Allen. <laughs> B May with 250. GG. Stay Plus with the milk bag message that it, we read. Congrats. You're the man. Uh, Thanks for entertaining easy. me and my wife all month with exciting Bloodborne runs. Love your work. A AZ with... I'm sorry if I'm behind on this, by the way. AZ, thank you for the... Willagrats the on the bits. amazing the run. You really showed that newborn orphan and crippled dude. <laughs> Bengal with the 2K. You are crazy. No, you're crazy, Bengal. Um, also, Emperor uh, Tigros, the eight-month resub. Thank you for the eight months in a row, dude. You got a ch uh, sub child coming up next month if you even dare to st step further into the, the sub hype. Uh, and Slothanot resub with five months as well. Uh, Highlander and Noctua with two brand new subs. Thank you very much. Genji with a brand new sub. Um, Intrand. Wait, Army? Was that another? Wait a second. I forget where I was. Uh, Mike with 250 with the G, the G, G, F, and G. I hate decks. Uh, GG Fat, Fat Princess next with 100. Thanks, man. Atreus, GG Fat Princess is not a bitch. Jeebles with the congrats. Army with the way to go. And Intram with the 2K. Thanks for entertaining you and your wife. Thanks, man. Thank you for enjoying the content enough to, uh, have it as your priority for entertainment, man. That's awesome. That it, time is a big investment as well. Time's very important, and everyone putting their time into this has been Congrats pretty crazy. Congrats on DS3, no so hit, run, Kappa. Um, there was, uh, wait a second. Just okay, GG. Genji. Oh, man. Uh, not up, thank you for the bits as well, man. DS3, no hit, run, Kappa. Jack with the just GG, I like the how you're keeping it simple. Seriously, guys, thank you, everyone, and for everyone that just, for the first time in their feeble, cursed lives, discovered the secret circle of the school Illuminati. Enjoy your emotes and your hoods of edge. Fuck Alan, first run because Gas Goon Lunchable. So many. Gas Goon Lunchable? That's amazing. <laughs> Gushers, thanks, dude. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you this one more time. I'm going to say thank you the same way as I did before, because it's, it's really just the way it is. Like, anyone, that core group of people that would stick around, even if the runs weren't the greatest, that will always watch whatever I do, I really, like, love you guys, seriously. Like, that's, that's the truth. You guys are absolutely off the walls, fucking bo bonkers, man. You guys have, like, eyeballs popping out of the sockets on, like, rocket scooter shoes. And chipmunk-like faces, and fur like you guys are insane thank you i'm not